Mag. I'm your host, Leaf the Lost Cause. And then you are? Why you looking at me like Tell us now. What's up? <laughs> You didn't come in hot, man. You usually come in hot. Like, you, you know, excited. I'm making sure it sounds good, man. Yeah, look at us, man. Episode 12. We actually, yeah, 12. we've been consistent. We usually aren't consistent. We usually do one episode and then don't do anything for a year. No, it's not consistent. <laughs> what? The way we bring in a show. Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's different, right? We do it different every time. We have fun with it. Right, I'm you know? facing you now. Yeah. Cool, so what's man. going on with you, bro? Oh, man. All kinds of crazy shit's happening you had to your, me. You had your, your, somebody attacked your car. Like, you know, I've talked about the typical Todd thing. Yeah. For those again. who don't know, typical Todd is basically Todd's alter ego where all this horrible shit happens to him and only him. And it's it's becoming a reality more and more. It's starting to get scary. Well, it's always a reality, but it's a safe reality. Now it's getting dangerous. <laughs> so you had two different incidents where you almost died by a vehicle? Yeah, I think I, I'm hoping next. This is not, like Final Destination shit you started to enter into. I'm hoping next it's not me. Like right. Physically me. Right. Um, so a couple weeks ago... Um, I uh, was driving home. It was a Saturday night. Just got back to my house. I'm sitting out front in my car. Um, I'm listening to a couple of the final mixes for the uh, 420 remix record. Mm -hmm. You know, turn my car off. You know, when you have that song on and you're like, you know, I just want to finish that song. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. put my seat back and listen to the song. Next thing you know, I look up and there's a car just flying like 40 miles per hour and just rips through my yard and smashes into my house. See, yo, that's. Just Look, divine intervention, man. <laughs> divine intervention. That was viral. That was somebody up there looking out for you like, yo, sit in the car, enjoy the rest of this song. Because if you'd have been in the house, man, who knows what could have happened? Well, you know? When, when, you know, when I'm sitting there, I looked up and the car comes, comes flying in and takes out the light post, the, the traffic light. And as soon as that happens, I just start laying on my horn mm -hmm. and just saying no. Like, it's going to stop. When <laughs> you was actually going, no! So I slammed on my horn. I was like, no! No! <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he took out the fence. <laughs> yeah, I did that before. Yo, but... <laughs> my house is, like, 40 yards from the L. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, like, a good, four, I don't know, 40, 30 yards, something like that. I mean, it's it right is. there, yeah. yeah. But Can you hear it at night? Well, yeah, the L, mm -hmm. always, yeah. you'll probably hear it on the broadcast yeah, here. Yeah. But, yeah, it, the car comes flying through, and uh, the, 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 the weird thing is, is it missed everything. There was mm -hmm. a fire hydrant. There was a tree. There was a fence. There was another tree. <laughs> And it was the smallest little crevice for it to squeeze through, mm -hmm. squeeze through all that shit. The good thing is, is it took out both air conditioner units instead of going through my studio. Because where it hit the house, it would have went right through all my music stuff. And if I was sitting down making music, I would have died. And then you had another incident where the, your car got ruined. Your car is dead. Your car is over. Yeah, so that was three. No, it's it's back. It's back? Yeah, you it's got getting, fixed that fast? No, it's getting fixed a couple okay. days. But yeah, then uh, the other day, this was three weeks ago when the car hit my house. And then... A couple days ago, I was at work, and my landlord's like, yo, man, I'm so sorry. He texted me. I'm so sorry, man. He sent a picture, and my car was just mangled. He sent that to you while you were at work? He was just making sure. That's like, kind of insensitive, Well, he man. didn't know where I was, and um, he lives upstairs. <laughs> How did you get to your shift? I, I couldn't focus. And it was like a Saturday <laughs> night, man. I'm like sweating. People were asking me stuff. I'm like, what? You know? But, um, yeah, a 91 Mack truck flatbed. Just <sighs> backed up into my car and smushed it. And it was a city work truck? It was a city work truck. Um, oh, there's that. Oh, yeah. So my, uh, right across the street from my front door, the re the hospital is re um, doing the building and they're making it a methadone clinic. Uh, right across the street from your house? <laughs> oh, bro. Typical Todd. Damn. So one of the worker trucks, you know, he said, and then I called him and he said his foot slipped. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's they just, trying not to. They were trying to play you though. They were trying to tell you like they we we don't know who's responsible for this typical it, city yeah. of Philadelphia shit. Sorry, they I'm left nervous. like a card, like sorry, with like a smiley face. They left face. a little note. <laughs> yeah, they left a little note. Left this number. And I called the dude and I was like, I don't mean to laugh. Just just no, type of fine. shit that only happens you know, to you. I remained dog, like, calm on the phone. Mm -hmm. I didn't tot him. You didn't go tot. No, I remained calm on the mm -hmm. phone. And the guy was like, sorry, man, my foot slipped. And then I was like, whatever. And then I was trying to get in, this is boring shit. But I was trying no, to get no, in no, touch it's... with the, I was trying to get in touch with like the insurances and all that stuff. I was on the phone for two days straight, and mm -hmm. then I just lost it. And I was getting tired. I was tired in a man. I was like, I was like, oh, so your drivers are driving around with no insurance. Maybe I'm gonna have to call the city. I might have to call the mayor. Yeah. And I'm getting they... on the phone. I was like, well, let you me start, get. You started like, throwing, yeah. start throwing your weight around. Yeah, I was like, yeah. let me get the lawyer on the phone. <laughs> I don't have a lawyer, but I was like, let me get my lawyer on the phone. So you're good with that. I'm gonna need your help with that this yeah. week because. You know, I you know, similar to you, 
as far as like you know you having a bad week as far as your car being ruined um i'm going through something similar in that you know something really important to me my my phone is 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 messed up you know what i mean so i can relate to what you're going through because like you need your car to survive anyone that knows me knows i need my phone and this is this is it's ruined my like i've been sick all week like i've been sick like physically ill because this shit won't hold a charge i went to the store to to have like a memory you know have them look at it this dickhead wiped out like all my pictures all my notes you know i keep my bars in my phone so you know what i mean he lost like albums worth of over shit not really but you know what i mean yeah. like and then they told me they were like well we don't know if he can give you a new phone because the camera lens is damaged and i didn't go tired i don't know how to go tired okay. I'm, I'm very like all right i guess i'll just you know what i mean i need that like oh yeah maybe i call your manager like you really good at that shit like i need help with that you know what i mean w I, will you help me yeah man i mean this is a business and they're a competitive business right and you are paying them a service and they do you get, get a new phone yeah, but see, the thing is, man. Don't like, even talk. Don't even say anything. Just give them the eye and slam your phone down. I expect it. <laughs> but here's the thing. I've tried to do the, uh, I, I've done the thing where I say, well, I guess I'll take my business elsewhere. I did that before, and they're like, okay. <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, oh, well, that was my only trump card. Well, this, you know dude, I mean? this, this dude, um, this insurance dude, uh, the, the agency, I started yelling at him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, don't call my agency again. Really? He hung up the phone on me. It said, don't call my yeah, insurance agency. So That's disrespectful. I kind of wanted to go there. So it's what happens me, now? I don't me. understand how the car stuff works. Do you have to pay a whole bunch of money or they're going to cover everything? No, man. They're covering everything. That's what's up. Because I was about to go to the city. I, I don't know how <laughs> I was going to do where it. Where would you even go? Do you know where? I know some stuff, dude. I would have <laughs> went to the city. I would have went somewhere. Wait, wait, when you say you're going to go to the city, like where do you, where are you, what do you mean? I'm going to go to City Hall. <laughs> and I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to walk right in the city hall and be like, what's going on? Someone hit my car. So you don't have like a... Uh, they would have thrown <laughs> <they would've laughs> you right out of the street. Like, get this asshole out of here. No, I would have been like, you know what? I know. I was like, I know some writers in the paper. I'm going to write an article in the paper. I'm going to... I don't know. I don't I'd know. Love None to of see. that shit's going to work. They're like, oh yeah, the paper? No one reads that shit. I'd love to see you at the city hall. Speaking of city hall, you are you, uh, right. you been paying attention to the mayor's race? You going to vote? Um... What in in Philly? Yeah, I'm like registered in Jersey. Ah, uh, you can't even do it. I've never yeah. voted for anything ever. Why, man? I just don't. You know, I like to say it's because, man, the government doesn't. But I'm just lazy with it. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel like uh, I should exercise that right. But you know, I've never seen a huge change with anybody. You know what I mean? Like I've never seen anything really happen. Uh, with people in office that made me be like, I need to get involved with this. Does that make sense? It makes sense. And I'm off the grid, too. Like, I've, I've tried to avoid, like... You can say your vote I, doesn't matter, but... You know? It's still the principle. You all vote the, in every election. All the struggle and all like that stuff. Like, you vote for, like, you did a president. Yeah. Who'd you vote for? You vote for Obama? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I definitely voted for Obama. <laughs> He's the coolest president we've ever had. You know, I wonder about you sometimes. He's still man. political. You know, Why? The, the, the flyers sometimes, you know, yeah. like... We got oh, out of space. No, 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 we got no. out of space here. You did yeah. that. You do themes with everyone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You did oh. out of space, so we did Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Why I gotta be the the, the Vulcan right. dog? Like why I gotta be the, the savage? Look. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'll explain. Look, first of all, it's not a Vulcan. It's a Klingon. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah. Wait, here's... Vulcan is what Spock was. Yeah. See, that'd have been live. Well, here's the thing. The ears. I'll explain it now, like I've explained it before. I mm -hmm. put a lot of thought into those. You flies. do. You now, do. Now it's not. I do it by personality okay okay and for, and also like i'm gonna be picard you made crypt the blind dude yeah because dude he's got the vision you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> who's playing supposed to be playing look like uh he look like prince or I something mean, like yeah that. like on some pause pause got nice eyes man where's the pause y'all pause I don't know. Uh, you lost, you lost nah. the pause, pause button? Pause. Nah, but you're Riker, man. You looked like Riker. You looked, I thought I looked exquisite. You looked like He was Riker. really excited. I, he thought, was, he I thought my hair was, he was fucking like, sharp. He was nervous. He was like, yo, make sure you text me that joint before you post it. I just said, yo, this nigga better not make his menudo, though. I'm not going to be Ricky Martin out here. Yo, yeah, but, but I thought it was an exquisite haircut, He, he did Thanks. good. Well, yeah, I made good. you. Look, I, I might made, get it. I made you a Klingon, A, mm -hmm. because you... Dude, uh, what's his name? What's the Klingon's name? His name's um, Morph. Morph. Worf. 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 
like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're yeah. a wharf, man. I mean, in all, in all fairness, the face is all serious. In all fairness, a black dude did play Worf, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. A black actor did play. I forget his name. Yes. James James Avery, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. But he he definitely, you know. And, I just, and the Flyers in the past, like, you're not going to. black, why, you're going to be the black bull. I you're not going to. Why not be Mr. T? Like, you know, I could have been, like, you know, I made you Captain s- Picard or you. Uh, I made you. Sk- no, but then no, 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 you just be another Star Trek. You'll just be another Trek dude. When was I Mr. T? When you did the A team? When we had Adler. You were Mr. T. That was and, great. I mean, the only thing I, I the only thing I, I'll apologize for is when I made you Martin Short. Oh, when we did the three, three amigos. amigos. But you're, I don't know. That yeah. was, I'm not gonna not make myself Steve Martin. He's my hero. No, nah, I hear you. you know? I we need to start an Instagram account with just just for the flyers because you do really yeah. good, man. You Thanks, put a man. lot of effort into it. You Thanks. know what I mean? I appreciate that. I mean, you know, yeah. and, and um, you're rerun, man. I'm sorry, but you're <laughs> you had re- I had to be rerun. I look <laughs> good doing that, man. So uh, what right. else has been up this week? Has been uh, has been interesting. You know what I mean? We uh. We had cupcakes with atmosphere. That was oh, pretty yeah. fun. That was fun. That was pretty show. surreal. Good Shout out show. to Steph. She hooked up some some cupcakes. That's a, I think I'm gonna start making that part of like when 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 bands come to town and we're cool with like yo you guys want some some treats because she's all about the bacon. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, also you you've been on the road. Yeah, but well, like no. See, but here's our thing. Like we talked about this, and you know, Todd has this thing where everybody that comes to town. He's like, yo, you need to try to holler at them about doing music. Doing, I don't want to do that. You understand? Like, I want to keep it just being cool with them. I don't, I don't want to make it that awkward conversation where these dudes I've known for a while has always been all love. I don't yeah. want to be like, yo, check out. I'm working on nah, something. Nah, you don't do that. What do you do? You just, you know, just uh, you're you have a relationship with those guys. Right. If you ever, but don't you think? Don't y'all? And y'all can chime in. Doesn't it make it awkward when you cool with somebody on music that does music, and then all of a sudden you? You start asking for favors and stuff like that. I never do it. Maybe it's a pride issue, but I never ask for anything from anybody. If, yeah, if yeah. it comes, it comes. But I don't like doing yeah, but, that oh, shit. Yeah, but on some because bit, when it happens to you, you know sometimes you know how it feels. You know how it feels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but on yeah, some, like yo, can you get like me and thirty <laughs> people in the jaw? I'm like, damn, like. And then they, it's like a five dollar ticket. You're like, damn, you can't just. Dude, that's, that's, that's the worst. That's different though, if being on the list and all that shit. I'm mm-hmm. talking like if Reef has a new project. And you need some support from a label. It's a professional email. Like, hey, man, would you like to support this record? It's either a yes or no question. If they say no, that's yeah. fine. If they say yes, you got an official tour support with, like, proper venues, proper sound guys. Yeah. You know, that's, well, we that's to, all I'm saying. We about to do an R&B record anyway. You don't go to the show and, like, hey, man, what's up? Check out my CD. Can you put me on your new record? <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that shit. Just Not even play the CD, but just like, yo, check this out. Hey, yo, what can you know I mean? get in the air? That's the worst. Rappers, don't ever do that. Don't ever walk up to someone in a, in a crowded, even if it's not crowded. If you could be standing on the street just hanging out. Don't walk up to somebody and just start spitting bars in their ear because that shit is like the worst. That happened to you. <laughs> that happens to people. Oh wait, wait, where did it happen? At? It did happen. It what? happened to you at the bar, and um, you were Jesus on your phone Christ. and drinking a beer at the same time <laughs> while he was doing that. Was about right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. shit! Where was that? Who was that guy? I don't know. He came right up in your face and just started rapping in your ear. Oh well, what god! Happened, man? You know, but see, here's the thing that's funny him, about that. I was like, oh, it's my chance. But, yeah, and that's the thing. What the fuck can I do for you? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I don't have no, you know what I mean? I'm nobody. I don't have no power to do anything for you, dog. Like, I could be like, yo, that was dope. Keep it up. But, like, I think people believe they, there's a misconception that, like, the way that it works is you meet someone that has a little bit of juice or a little bit of pool, and then you, you rhyme for them or whatever, and then all of a sudden... You become that you guy. Become, and it's like, it <laughs> just doesn't doesn't register like that, especially now. You know what I mean? I'm, I told you, I want to get out of rap. We're going to start doing some, some experimental R&B fine, type. Man. I've been working on my vocals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like this is the year that we... You should. We, why not? Now, let me ask you this, though. Right. If I help out with that project... Mm-hmm. You know, I might get I might get a couple little sings singing singing on there. Yeah, right? we talked about your singing, man. Like, you know, do we I need to do we need to remind team. what happened to Jupiter, the song you were working on? It's I don't know. You guys laughed at it, you know what I mean? But like, that doesn't mean anything. I still have confidence in it. Yeah. It, it still might be a song one day. Right. Um, you know. Maybe I maybe I'm shopping the song around as a singer songwriter. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe I won't perform it per se. You know, but it's talking about you know, it's talking about some real shit. You know, it is. It is talking about love, and and you are yeah. you are looking for love, ladies. Yeah. Like, help my man out. You know, Todd came over the other day, and it was it was a little it was a little. I felt a little bad because like it was you know, me and her. I think we're in the middle of arguing. The kids were running around like knocking. My son was knocking shit over, and Todd looked around. And he was like, man, 
you guys don't understand how good you got it. Like, this is what I want. And I looked at him like, are you fucking crazy <laughs> right now? You want this? No, like, you have uh, well, a bachelor pad. You got your own life. You Great. Great. Why you got you, Nintendo. You you got, I mean, look at this. Look I'll tell you this. what. Listen, gentlemen. He gets up and does what he wants, but then he gentlemen, says he listen. wants the family. Now, playing, I know playing is like, yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah, you know that's what, what it's mean? about, bro. Listen, gentlemen. Man, look, I love, had... my, I love my family. I love them. But, man, some days I'd be like, man. Just kill them all and like start over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, just like hop on a greyhound and just I'll start a new life and you know what no. I mean. No, I st I'm talking to myself now, man. That's where I'm at. <laughs> what do you mean? You should see me around here. Like I'll be on the couch and I'll be like, all right, and I'll I'll walk to the fridge. I'll be like, get myself a drink. <laughs> like, yo, it's fucking stupid, you're going, bro. You're going to start crazy. Yo, yeah. Yo, end of the day, though, you live near the L, man. I do a little dance. <laughs> I know. You can find something out there. Yeah, something, something we'll just bro. walk underneath it. Nah, but well, seriously. No, I, be, I developed so a cool nickel. Well, I developed a friendship with the guy that parks out front and watches the methadone clinic that's being built from kids throwing rocks in the window that's and have kind of, conversations. With that's them. a sweet like, gig. Hey, man, how you doing? You want a beer? That's all his gig is, is just make sure no one throws rocks at the window. I I'll take that, that job. The methadone clinic so close. How, well, how are they doing it? How do you feel about it? I mean, the whole neighborhood tried to stop it from happening. That's yeah, what keeps happening everywhere, yeah. But yeah. at the same time, it's, it's like, there's nothing you could really do about it. Like Kensington Hospital's two blocks from here. That was an abandoned building that they bought. They owned but a I lot. Mean, isn't it a good thing, though? Like, to help people or not? Well, there's, there's thing is, it's like, yeah, you can look at it like that. There's going to be a bunch of gremlins walking around, which is whatever. But at the same time, there's going to be a security guard. There's going to be cameras. There's going to be lights. Right. And it's fine. Whatever. I mean, there's... That's fine. Yeah. I, mean, I know the only methadone clinic I've ever really been around was when I worked on Six and Market and the one up near, like, the, I guess, the gallery or the, somewhere. There's one around there somewhere near the Penn, uh, Convention Center. There you go. And um, that shit's heartbreaking, man, especially when you see them with the kids yeah, and, like, tough, you know, man, man it's, it's tough. tough. But it's, like, at the same time, it's, like, you know, what are they supposed to do? You know what I mean? Like, the methadone is supposed to help them, it, it, I think. But it, I feel like a lot of people get hooked on methadone. It's a controlled... It's a controlled... It's thing. another substance. Yeah, it's just a substance. Yeah. Control substance. There are people trying to get off of it. I mean, they are... I feel like some people are there just because they're court ordered, and you know that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or or, or they don't got ten dollars to get a bag of dope, so they're doing that. Yeah, yeah. and then that everybody. Gets you high in a lot of times, everybody that's in there, well, they still I guess in there scamming. From getting sick. Yeah, that's really what it is. It stops you from getting sick. Yo, man, like what? I just, I never, I never had the desire to do. Like I, you know what I mean. Like no, no. I, I just don't get where well, self, the desire to comes from. Be like, yo, I want to do heroin today. Some you know people what I'm saying? Self control. Some people have chemical imbalances. I know? mean, I know a lot of people, people and I didn't know that. Like, didn't it seem like when you were growing up, you didn't know mad people on heroin, no, right? No, and like, no, it came, a lot. yeah. The only you know what it is? They do the pills, man. They take a thousand of them, then they, they don't get high no more. Right. Go to the next cheaper dope level. Dope is cheaper. Way yeah, the, cheaper. My, my my um the only time I'll do heroin is um because I mean. <laughs> no, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, this is a scenario. Because like, you could all agree that you hear the story. It's like, well, people do it until they die, so it must feel fucking phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But y'all know you die off of it. Well, I understand most people, they say from... I've spoken to people, and they say that first high is like nothing else, and they spend the rest of the chasing well, that. Chasing it. Yeah. If, you I, know, if somebody takes, takes a, a batch, or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. and... It's like a bad batch where they become suicidal and like they kill themselves. There's like certain things. Right. Like a bad batch. Right. That's when people kill themselves off. And yep. When when heroin addicts find out that that happened, they look for where they got that bag. From. Like that's how oh, good. Like that's 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 crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying like, to get that. So that's fucking that, that, whole, that. <laughs> that whole thought process is pretty crazy. That's scary, man. Yeah, that's scary. Well, I'm gonna take it if I'm on like if I'm like if I get past eighty. He's and, gonna try and I can't it. walk anymore. And I'm just an old man. Yeah. And I'm like, it's time to go. Yeah. I'm going to take an airplane <laughs> and I'm going to shoot up heroin and then jump out without a parachute on. <laughs> because those two feelings combined must that, feel that fucking actually awesome. might be pretty fucking So cool. you you saying you're not but gonna you're not gonna do typical the, like, time though I would live. You would you would just be <laughs> fucked up. You'd be walking around like that like eh. I'd be like the dude in that Metallica video. What oh the, uh, the uh, it was it NSA man? Yeah uh is that it? The yeah, where he's like, all fucked up. He's just a body he's just a head. <laughs> just a head. <laughs> and you can't talk, you can't do anything. So you're not trying to go out like on some like, you know, in in your deathbed, like just 
You, nah, it's either that or I'll, I'm like, I I'll fight crime way. even if I'm 80. I don't think I'm going to make it past, like, I think I think 70 is, like, a good, like, you know what I mean? Like, I love my grandfather, but he's, like, 85, and I'd be looking in his eyes, he'd be like, man, when is this shit over with? You know what I mean? Like, I, always think that, I always think that, <laughs> like, <laughs> I always think that, like, how's that feel, like, when you know your time is coming soon? Like, I think when you're at that point, though, you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. like you yeah. know, it's over, man. Yeah, you shoot man. some heroin and jump out of a plane without <laughs> yeah. a parachute, because that shit will feel great. Yeah. Because I'll never do it. Yeah. I never, I'm, I don't even want to, I don't even want to even try to skydive. I want to try, I mean, I, I want to. That's, that's white people shit, man. Yeah, man, no, that's crazy. That's why would you do it before you had children? Would I would never do it? anything of never. that sort. Bungie I jump, could, I don't, I don't have the heart. It looks fun, though. Jump out of the plane. It it does. For other people, it's cool, it man. Fun. I watch y'all do it all day. The most I but did I was it. when I was in uh, Jamaica for my mom's wedding. I jumped off one of them, them cliffs, and that was... How um, long did it take you to jump? I did it right away. You I just, just like, I, I said because I was like, if, I, if I, huh? Did you tape that video? Tape I put it on. I just put a picture up on the on the net. Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't tape it. Like yeah, that. and I, yo, fuck that. I did it right away because I knew, like, as I was going up behind people, I seen people bitching and hesitating and talking themselves out of it. I was like, if I get to the part where I'm supposed to jump, I'm just doing it. Like the dude didn't he? They count to three. Dude got to like two. He's like one, two. I was like, I'm out, bitch, John. <laughs> and Is let me tell you said? something. It was the scare, like. I was falling like you know when you falling you like I was like yo I'm still falling like where's the fucking water where's the water and then it was like, boom it just hit I Did was like never again. Did you fall off when you hit the water? <laughs> no, no. They like drift away. Uh, uh-uh, but that the young funny. boys there though, dog, they were doing backflips off that shit. There was yeah. a dude like he looked like fucking uh he looked like Debo. He was like doing handstands on a cliff and then like pushing himself off. That shit's crazy, dog. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Wouldn't be me. Yeah. Nah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'll do it with like. Floaties on, <laughs> <laughs> like one one of those ones that wrap around. Yeah, with like the rubber duck. duck you know, I just found, I just found out a friend of mine who's like thirty five can't swim. I was like, he's I like, can't, I can't really swim. Man. Really? I mean, I can if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> In what situation would you have to like, like yo, like, like just save your kid or like something? A, yeah, or if I right. fall off a boat or something, I got it. <laughs> I ain't got no choice, but like, if I'm in the water, I'm not like, I'm not like swimming. Yeah, I, mean, I could swim, but like, I'm, just I, I'm not that good at it. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, I, niggas ain't running like laps. And, and I grew up with like, a pool, like, right, right, right. You had a but, pool? Yeah, man. Oh, like, yo, pop pool in the end of shit. Yeah, on smash, dog. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. That's what's up. Damn, you had a pool. Yeah, my man Calvin was like 6'3 when we were like 12. Mm-hmm. And he ain't know how to swim. Yeah. Black boy, you know what I mean? It's like, like a mis- yeah, like that's a big thing in our communities. Like a lot of black people don't know how to swim, and I'm concerned about that. So he jumped in, and yo, he jumped in, <laughs> and started splashing all crazy. Yeah, and we were like, Calvin, just put your feet down. <laughs> what it was like two feet of water? It was no, like four five foot. Like he was four tall. Foot. He's six foot two. <laughs> he he yo, sword. yo. <laughs> we were like, yo, just put your feet down, dog. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. Oh, that's we like, yo, just stand. Did anyone save him? <laughs> we just said, yo, just His stand. Toes. Did he finally stand and he got? He was like, he calmed down. Yeah, but he was like hugging the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy, man. Swimming and roller skating. Can you roller skate? I can roller skate. I it mean, I put on I put on some weight since the last time I was on skates, but I used to be man. I, I used think to. Weight has but that's the, I used effective. to be able to spin all that shit. Those man. are two things that, like, even if you're the coolest person in the world, you are so vulnerable to, At any to time. not be cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> bust your ass! Yeah, there's nothing look, worse than falling on roller but skates. You just don't people, look cool. When you're people doing rolling it. right by yeah. you, laughing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Especially if you get caught up and go face first. You ice skate? Yeah. Y'all ice skate? You ever ice skate? I never ice skate. I can't even roller skate. Damn, I can't bro. Skate Yo, either. we gotta start at like AOTP. Well, I have roller skates. Physical in challenge. The past. <laughs> like, you were back saying in the like, day, but I've done it all in twenty years. Probably. Crib, you were saying you like hockey though. I do like hockey, but when they played out in the street, like it was just foot. the white kids had roller skates and shit. Yeah, you know, on Sixth Street, but. I we play foot hockey. Yeah, deck right. hockey. Yeah, like deck hockey shit. We ain't had no skates growing up, dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, we can't have it. But Listen, we like, man, we had a pool. But we ain't had no skates, man. You know what I mean? Listen, we ain't had no. We ain't play no damn foot hockey. Right. We played baseball, and that was it. Yeah, I want. I want to. We get it. We yeah. gonna, gonna get into this first song and come back and start interviewing him because I, I want to talk to him about his obsession with baseball. I gotta understand this because I, you know, to me, it's the it's one of the most. I ain't trying to disrespect. I just it's not disrespect. We'll, we'll I didn't create the sport. Like I, I said, Reeve Radio episode twelve. We got our brothers out of space in here. They are debuting their new song, MMA. Music makes art. 
Um, murder makes our murder makes our my bad my bad See, man, like, yeah, don't man, get your like, shit shit together, together. do your research Reef. <laughs> do your research um, Reef search. but yeah today's topic since we have a, a duo it's our first duo everyone else has been a solo artist our first duo um, on the show we decided to do a uh, favorite song by a duo or group uh, any genre yeah um, and so you know me I had to be outside the box and also for my man Crip this is a little inside joke but I picked Hall and Oates I can't go for that. For those who don't know, Hall & Oates is Philly legendary OG R&B pop group. And Crip <laughs> didn't know who they were. When we were on tour uh, about uh-huh. five, six years Here's ago. Here's the thing. And it, it was, was actually like, the night Obama got elected. The night Obama got elected. Our, our <clears throat> tour bus broke down. I believe I got left. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a situation. <laughs> and what happened was... Our off. bus we had to wait for, and we were supposed to drive from uh, Vegas to like North Cali somewhere. Yeah, and we didn't leave Vegas till four in the afternoon. What, what the fuck were we doing? Oh, that was was that that That's situation when the broke down. The, shit, the, yeah. the van broke down. Oh, so we, we had, to, had wait to wait for that. Yeah. Wow. And the situation. I forgot all about that. So I'm driving like thirteen hours, a all in the back watching Eddie Murphy movies, mm. and, <laughs> and I was like, "Who's hauling notes?" <laughs> That was a classic. I moment. think Vinny woke out up out of a dead sleep. Like, he are you furious. fucking serious? He was so upset. We all were. Though. We all were. Rico, Rico, Rico. What do you know? Just big pun and Hector Lavoe. That's it. They call, what do they call it? Blue eyed soul, right? Yeah, yeah. I never, I never was, I never, I never was a fan of that term though, because it's like it's just soul. Daryl Hall was. I know. It's just soul. I wanted to do Man Eater simply for the public. Man, yo, I did. The nah, clap, clap mess you up. Uh, yeah, they messed me up a little bit. <laughs> nah, uh, Hall of Notes, man. Like, damn, I, they, I, I, I envy people that can write music like that, man. Like, you know, I write my little raps and shit, but that's like, yo, my soulful. That the their best of. I burned that CD out, man. Like well, I played that. You know what I mean? They're like, Philly. You know? make my dreams come true. That's a great one too. You know what I mean? They're um, they're Philly, and I always would picture like Hall of Notes in their heyday. Yeah, like yo, man. You know they like would show up at the club. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Be like, yeah. yo, it's Hall and Oates. Like, right, they right, would right. Walk in like you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're Hall I would have loved to have been around when like the well, Oates. Oates was always like, yo, yeah. man, I'm Oates. My mom tells me stories, <laughs> man, about dude. like you know back in the day, you know the Teddy Pendergrasses or the Dr. J's. They rolling in they little you know silk suits with the fro and all. You know they had the ladies with the minks and stuff. It was a glorious time. You know Philly. Uh, Philly's had some great, great, great. Uh, Artists and entertainers come out, and speaking of which, we got two of them with us. You know what I mean? They've been busting it up with us out of yeah, space. Yeah. You know what I mean? My brother West. Planet. I mean, Crip, what's going on, man? It's off your phone, man. I can't hear you. You know? No, nah, the mic. What's up with this mic, man? Oh, there we go. There you go. There you go. Todd. Todd. Like Todd. <laughs> oh, it's, it's doing it again, man. Yeah. Just hit, hit that thing again. Yeah. 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 It's perfect, man. A singer. Yeah, you gotta be like, like you want. Oh, <laughs> right. what's up, y'all? Oh, wow. what's I'm chilling though. You chilling, <clears throat> chilling, man. So y'all, y'all about to go uh, watch the Phillies game? Me and the lady, me and the old lady. Not okay. No, oh, he's not going. No, 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 no. I no. thought he was no, going. I'm fucking bored like that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we, we do this shit. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is like the maximum time. This yeah, is yeah. when it's business. That's yeah. It's like EPMD though. I hate you. Yeah. So y'all hate each other? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, don't fuck with that. Or you're like calling Oates. You know, Daryl Hall didn't mess with Oates. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. We <laughs> like the hip hop. Who, who was the Who was the one that was, I guess, more famous? Well, Hall. 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 Yeah, Hall. I'm Daryl Hall. Yeah, that, that's that's playing. <laughs> <laughs> you are like nobody likes is that, me. Is that just Is that just like how it's always been? Like it seems like not 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 saying that you don't speak up, but it seems like playing has always been like the vo- the more vocal well, one of just, you. Two. He's just weird. Yeah. Nah, I'm. I'm I don't leave. I don't leave the crib. Yeah. So. You don't know Facebook. Yeah, yeah. You What's know, up with that? What's that. up with you not being on, on the internet at all? I mean, you on you on you on the um. I'm on I, Instagram. Yeah. I was on Twitter for a minute. And just uh, it's just. Oh, you always, got rid of your Twitter? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's just always drama and it's like. Right. You know, I even went through some personal shit drama mm-hmm. that I got caught up in that really wasn't that serious, but right. to some people it was. Right. And I just I can't deal with it anymore. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Like social media is not that serious to me because mm-hmm. it's all other people's bullshit right. that really don't pertain to anything I got going on in my life. I hate. You. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that shit. So man. my shit now is like <laughs> fuck everybody. Yeah, yeah, fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. They don't get up for work. 
to work for me. Yeah. They don't do what I do. They right. don't pay my bills. Right. So I just I try to shut everything out right. that's not really involved in now, my life. Now y'all speaking of that, y'all are two y'all two of the few rappers out here that have no problem admitting like, yo, we work. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? <laughs> like, why can't rap niggas get jobs? Like, what's? I know that's a pet peeve of yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been I've been holding on for for, for, for like a, by a thin thread for a long time. Like, you know what I'm saying? The job, I just, I just don't want to see niggas struggling, good. man. Yeah. You know, I don't want to see niggas struggling with they self. That's all. Right. You know, it's not like we're like 19 and we're rapping <laughs> at, at open mics. Like, right. and it really didn't matter. So I see I see motherfuckers that I know that I care about struggling or. I just see people like thinking they gonna make it. Not that damn well they not. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? That's so cold. <laughs> I mean, especially with Facebook, you know, like you ah, see, you know, worst. a lot yeah. of these, you know, yeah. local bulls or whatever. You You've know. been really hard on the local scene lately, man. What is it it's that you really see? It's really bad, though. Yeah. What it's is it that you see that makes you feel like that? Like, be not you ain't gonna name names to, or whatever. I, I actually press play. <laughs> <laughs> I press play and I listen, and it's it's really bad. And that's just, no, but there's, sometimes there's, I think it's fit, like it's not real. It's so bad. Right. I think like this ain't this is not a song, right? right. Yeah. No, nah, but there's there's it. there's dope cats in Philly, but I'm just like it's all rap shit. Right. But don't, you it's know nothing what, though, new. But to be honest with you, the dope cats in Philly aren't telling me how dope they are. They, they just, just they on their shit. For they doing it the way we did it. Right. They just making their music and trying been, to promote. There's always been terrible rappers, but now it's easier for them to make the music and put it on a disc and give it to somebody. Yeah. And I think it's just so hard. And the friends, man, the circle, it's a circle. Jerks. Yeah, circle jerk. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They tell each other they're the best, and right, they're the best. I think it's just it's it's really hard too to just be like, yo, man, you're terrible. Don't do this anymore. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you want to say that, you know what I mean? But I I have a hard time saying. You know, that you know, people. too. Like another thing with me that bothers me, and I talk with Vinny a lot mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. Like we've worked on it, our craft for a lot of years, a long all of us. Mm -hmm. A long time. Mm -hmm. We've been through shit. We traveled the world. We've done shit. And there's people who haven't done anything <laughs> except just start rapping two years ago who speak like they've. The, the, that they're yeah. on the same right instead of just paying homage and just mm -hmm. saying oh, we look up to y'all or whatever whatever they talk like they they're there right w the, with what we've done right the ego like, we've walked worked yeah. on this so hard yeah the ego it's doesn't like the, 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 the track the record doesn't the track record doesn't justify the ego right yeah it's like exactly, the, exactly. The well, some cats say I can't believe you work I'm like I can't believe you don't fucking work <laughs> like what are you doing how yeah, are like you? if I have to work then how the fuck aren't you working yeah I mean my thing is like you know if you're not working whatever whatever if you're trying to hustle that's cool but when I see you on there talking about you know Special for today, seventy five dollars, sixteen bars, like that shit, dog. Yeah, that shit is sad, man. That's yeah, heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, buy, buy two bars because you know you know free. no one's doing it just to be like, yo, I feel like you know what I mean. You know, you're doing it because you, you don't know money. how the fuck you keeping your cell phone on <laughs> next month or this month coming up. You know what I mean? The bill in two weeks and you ain't got nothing. Yeah, like and then you see cats say like, got a ton of features lined up. <laughs> I'm like, so you going in the lab to make three hundred dollars, and I hope you breaking off whoever is recording you. Right, you know what I mean? Something, like, something. that's why like some cats will hit a, hit us up or like, mm -hmm. you know, inbox me through Instagram for a feature, right, right? And they're like, you know, I'll give you X amount. I'm like, one, I gotta take time off of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't write in my crib. I write in the studio. Mm -hmm. and my crib is like pandemonium. Always, yeah. I feel, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Like I'm it's right really hard. Yeah, yeah. Like. Like, going to the studio is a whole fucking ordeal, you know? Mm. So, I'm like, well, your 500 bucks really ain't worth it to me. You want to know why? Because I can go to work, work a few extra hours, and not miss much by the end of the week to make and, that 500 and my, I mean, the thing about it is, too, is, like, a lot of times, like, I know for me personally, you know, I, I do a lot of collabs. I'm not going to, you know, uh, front on that, but... I've I've heard like three of them actually come out. You know that, what I'm, that, that, I'm the same way. Like, <laughs> I've like heard damn, like, three like, of them. I've heard you know certain damn. people might hit me like, damn, dog. He asked me like, this boy terrible, dog. I'm like, listen, I, you only listen because he hits you up. Oh, you I'm know. not saying I've never done them. Right, right, I'm just right. saying. No, I mean, like, a lot of times it's just a lot of ninety. I I go as far as to say, ninety percent of those dudes only make it for themselves to listen to. Right to say I'm I've and, become and, and right. his man like yo, I just did a job with him. Right. That's and it, it. I, did you so feel like, like it, cheap, it cheapens the name a little bit. It makes yeah. you like like yeah. anybody can get at you. Yeah, yeah. Nah, just like and it's fucking work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't want to get home from work and then have to listen to your fucking beat and try to force <laughs> a fucking rhyme out. <laughs> no, I'm like I'm serious, man. Like even right, when right, I gotta right. do shit with my homies, like, like go fast. Be... Not even uh, when I gotta do shit, you know, for squad and everything. It's mm -hmm. like I, I want to do everything with everybody, right? 
But you know, when you're fucking in a metal factory for 11, 12 hours a day, mm -hmm. I want to go home, kiss my kids, get a shower, and drink a share. beer, right? Yeah. You don't and watch to. Yeah. TV and right. smack my kids around. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's that's work though. If it's something that you don't want to do, if it's a song with you're just like, oh, well, I'll do it. Yeah, and then, then, then you got to go with wifey. Like, yeah, I got to go do this feature. Do this song that you do don't want to do. Right. And, there's no inspiration. Yeah, yeah you your know, integrity's kind of gone. Exactly. With it. You know exactly. It's like damn, like and a lot of times with me, I'm like, damn, that verse was kind of ill. I could have used that for myself. Yeah, you, you know want to do the fold, John? Put it back in your pocket. You know what fucks me up too? Like when when they hit you up and you actually do it. And mm -hmm. then, like four years later, when they hit mm -hmm. you back, say that they're gonna like put it on the internet. Cause it's always like two years later, of course. And they want you to promote it, right? I'm like, like, yeah, you didn't pay me to promote nah, it. That's a different. That's story. another thing they don't understand. You told me to rap, right? That's, that's all, it. That's all I charge for you. Do you want me to be a promoter too? All right, well, why don't you don't pay me to promote it? <laughs> they don't understand. Like I'm not. That's where they get the whole. Oh, I paid them so. He'll well, do that's it. the point. They don't get. They're paying you for go. the name yeah. to right. promote the song. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, and, and, and not because you got 22 and, followers. That's not my problem. And even oh, like, man. from experience, like, I try to tell cats, like, yo, you know, having my verse on your shit ain't gonna help you. Mm. I'm like, if you're gonna pay me 500 or a G, why don't you invest that money in yourself? Get a publicist. Yeah, yeah. that's how I say. Why don't you uh, yeah. pay yeah. somebody yeah. to make a website? Why don't you start a YouTube channel? Right. Yeah. Make some YouTube. You know, whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. Don't give me a G to do a verse or 500 right. or whatever. Right. Why don't you go record a video? Right, right. Do you feel like it could be, like, fixed? Or you think rat is just so bad now that it's just, you just gotta let it die? Nah, it's just a total shit storm. I think yeah. if you if we get ourselves out of it, How? it won't bother us as much. What you mean by that? <laughs> like, Break that down. Like, not do it anymore. <laughs> not just, not rap, period. Right, but, but just not. Just don't do them. Don't, don't, don't even, don't even but acknowledge don't, it. I mean, I've kind of took the plunge recently, like, where I'm like, I'm not doing it no more. Right. Unless it's my people's. I, right, right, right. I want right. to make music with you. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I no don't doubt. Do I make yeah, like, yeah, yeah. to me. You killed that verse for that, that record for me and Cyrus, man. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> body that joke. Wow. Yeah, man. I, mean, I yeah. came through. I miss <laughs> Mad Deadline. I miss <laughs> Mad Deadline. Yeah, I miss yeah, Mad yeah. Deadline. Nah, right. man, you got a lot of stuff going on. Like, y'all yes. both. Go ahead. Last show, uh, Last Emperor was saying, now it seems like it's a uh, fantasy, but to get a hip hop council, like of all the greats, oh, to yeah. like say no. Yeah, well, yeah. but he couldn't do it. The, the, the world's too big and there's it would, too it many. Would be, I remember They would start fighting listened, amongst I each like, other. I thought that was a great idea when I heard it, though. They would start fighting like, amongst each other. That would be perfect. Yeah. But like if, if in the hip hop community, if those dudes said yes or no, now like some people will listen to him some people won't but that would be the stamp of approval it's like yeah you're an actual f hip hop artist or <laughs> well, you're not yeah like line them up yeah like, like a, or like a do you like do you like scene. any of you seem more like more than so than a lot of other people you seem to be into you keep your ear to the newer stuff do you, oh, so yeah, you definitely. like you who, who's some of the newer guys you like out there right now in Philly or just in general you, know, you ain't gotta keep it Philly like I, um Cause you put me on a lot of stuff like well, that Saha mixtape. I was yeah. fucking. Like, I don't really know yo, how new people are. I was so are, mad I didn't know about that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Really like know, that's the type of shit that needs to be. Yeah, at the I don't forefront. really know how new people are. Sometimes mm -hmm. I might catch on late, so mm -hmm. like I don't know. Like you know, I've been pumping that Yellow Wolf album. I and you know, don't like it, but I, I didn't really, listen I like, to it. I'm like addicted I, I, I to it. I prejudged him. Is the whole album you know I mean? like that single? I, I feel like he's like on some fake Everlast shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Like the oh, no, I'm no, a country no, guy. No, no, no. Nah, well, he is from the country. <laughs> nah, but though. Yellow Wolf can spit. I, 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 listen, I'm gonna listen, give it a chance. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Before I was like, he cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. Paz, you, yo, yo, more mm -hmm. nice. I'm like, he which I'm shocked about. I'm like, he is nice. But it's not my kind of nice. Like I'm like it's cool, but mm -hmm. but this shit is different. He's Way different. Right. It's but like, he's older. He's an older artist. He's just doing what any artist would do. It's just you. you it's just way different. You like it. him too, huh? I didn't hear the new record. I heard the one single. I, it was okay. What was the single for that? I don't, I don't know. know. It was all singing and then Eminem's on it. Oh, best friend. Best, yeah. uh, best friend. Yeah, yeah. I saw the song for that. It's, like, it's cool. I it's haven't a, heard. I mean, I know M. That was kind of weird M's because like weird it, was, it went from one vibe, and when Eminem came in, it changed to yeah. like another vibe. Yeah, but he killed it so bad. He's so hit or miss. He's though, talking about man. Jesus on that John, right? Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, M's been so hit or miss for me lately, man. I, I've, yeah. you know, I, I gotta try to give him another shot, but I fell off with M for a really long time. I know you love him. Well, I fell off. I mean. I fell off when everybody else fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought a lot of people slept on uh, Recovery. Recovery's a good record. Real good. Yeah, that yeah. That was yeah. the one with Wayne. and uh, Right. I like that album a lot. Yeah, and the last one dope. was whatever. The Marshall Mathers 2 was cool. It had some shit, but it was, you know, it wasn't. Right, 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 right. I hate you. But, um, but as for new people, I mean, like that Sci High I thought was like the best shit of the year. Phenomenal that shit was record. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I remember saying the other day on somebody's post that I, f I don't feel obligated to like certain people that I think people think I'm supposed to like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I feel like, like you that, should like Action think, Bronson think a whole lot. Like, right, right. You should like Joey Badass a whole lot. I'm like, why should I? I don't, right. Because there's, I don't a, there's, there's, a, there's a perception that we Are only so listen to underground the spirit, da, 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 And they're like, yo, you, you like, you like who? You like Gucci, man? You like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I love some ignorant ass, trap ass, yeah, like yeah. hood <laughs> shit. And people yeah, get so, so yeah. mad. Do you feel like because of the genre of hip hop we're in that people uh, like, I know I like to experiment with music. A lot of the songs that I do that aren't exactly the AOTP, yeah, you know, yeah, like dark, yeah. like I'm I'm the best rapper ever. I'll yeah, kill everyone. Yeah. People hate that. Like, does that stop you from trying to do that type of stuff? Or do you say like, fuck them? Uh, I'm not really trying to do that stuff. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? I like certain you. things, I don't know. I think like, it's I heard, different. Like, I think it's different the records, some group. of the records you did with stress, like that had that that more popper feel to yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. But I think what it is is as a group, it's a different dynamic because mm -hmm. we do what we do. Right. We're not gonna. I don't know. It's not like an outcast thing where they they. they went. No, and, and I think they, if I did like a if I ever did like a solo, I might dabble into like different things, mm -hmm. but not nothing that. No, nah, not, not even that. It's just like, you know, we've put out, what, five records? And, like, we have a fan base. It might not be the biggest fan base, so why try to switch something up and alienate the fans that you do have? Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and and me and Plan decided to do a whole album on trap beats and acting real <laughs> ignorant and stupid. And dudes are like, they fucking suck. They're Illuminati, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, you know what Illuminati. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I was that backpacker kid back then, too. Right, like, right. Hated everything, hated... You know, and now mm -hmm. I'm like, I was fucking stupid back then. Because you yeah. cut yourself off from hearing a lot of yeah. great exactly. shit. You know who I like? Um, that He's not really new, but Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey's dope. That DJ Drown, that Gangster Girls mm -hmm. he just did was, what's it called? Uh, Mail Money or something? Mail Money. Mailbox fucking, Money. Mailbox Money mm -hmm. is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I got to check that out. That hard as nails. Word, uh, word. And word. he spits. It's just people He's a West Coast take guy. from where he's right. at and they, miss it, they fuck it up. But. Right. I That's, hate that, that that perception is so much a part of this shit, man, because it's like, you don't know me to judge me to yeah. think that I only listen to this type of stuff. You really yeah. think we just be in a basement. No, like, true <laughs> hip hop head. Hip hop comes from everything combined. Right. To think that is just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I just play stupid. Yeah, it comes no, from every music. No doubt. So y'all been working on some new music yourselves? Yeah. Just, trying to. Yeah, yeah. trying to. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the status on the record? Y'all got a title for it yet? It's lost in space. Lost in space, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's we're it's probably like lost in space. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's a perfect title. I can right. tell you that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but I say we're seventy percent done. That's good. That's yeah, a good we got percentage. like eight or nine in a bag. Nine in a bag. We're not the type like yeah. let's do thirty and pick fifteen. Nah. Like I'm doing seventeen and picking sixteen. Right, 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 right. Keep, <laughs> What's the one, one John too. that we don't like? Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. We don't really have time to like mm. do all that. But. I hate you. So yeah, like, right like, when we, we won't be though. in the lab like all these other niggas be saying, working <laughs> you hard. You got a lot of time to be in the lab all the goddamn time, right? You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah, real right. what it is. It yeah. is what it is. But we just recently did a joint with Rashid Chappelle. I've, I've heard a lot about this guy. Yeah. He's, he's, he's good with Eclipse. And, right, uh, right, right, right. Kenny Dope, New York, the legendary mm -hmm. Kenny Dope. Mm -hmm. That's like his DJ or whatever. Okay. I don't really know. Right. But he's on there. We're trying to get different people on this one. Word we got up. Slain on it. Okay. Um, Rod, Digga. Rod Digga. Really? Yeah, she blessed us. That's oh, what's that's up. She bodied yeah. it? Yes. Word. She went <laughs> off. Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, she got on her spit shit. Word up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, you know, some different shit on there. I hear you. Yeah. Do you have an idea when y'all trying to drop that joint, or it's just when it's ready? We want to drop it when we always drop, like usually in the fall. Fall. Fall's always good. The that time, that hoodie starts, time is flying, man. It's, it's, it's going mm -hmm. by. It's, it seems like every day is getting a little bit faster. Doesn't yeah, that, like, fine, as you get man. older? I'm like, fuck, it's already almost, it's already halfway made. It just was made first. always tour in the fall anyway, right? Or like, if you do shows anyway it's, it's in the fall yeah, that's, 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 really that's when we would do it if we right. chose to is that it. something that's Probably out of the question time. now I remember yeah. seeing you say that like unless it's like you know crazy beneficial I prefer you ain't doing, doing it no more festivals yeah for small runs so fun you know so I mean? fun I actually have a question for you guys it's always bothered me um, <laughs> it's always bothered me man like I don't know I guess it was on some polite shit like so we, we did a show um yeah, we did a show. We did a show. Reef. Reef always hits something, knocks something over. It's always like uh, you gotta take a bet. It's like the over or under. Is Reef gonna trip over? But this time I did it. He's clumsy. Yeah. Um, all right, so it was 2009. It was one of the biggest shows I've ever done. We went to the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. It was like a big deal. You know what I mean? Like you guys, Hell yeah, it was you a big guys deal. have done shows before, but like. It, 
in the category of shows that you guys have ever done, you would have to agree, like, festival-wise, that's the biggest, like, that's, like, one of the biggest festivals you can possibly do as an artist because it's such a long-running thing. Yeah. Going yeah. On since which, one, which one did you say? So the Montreux. Montreux. Oh, the Montreux. That, that's our biggest moment, I think. It was, like, that was our biggest moment. Yeah, and I couldn't believe I was a part of it, but I remember we all traveled together. We were all at the airport together. Um, <clears throat> I was traveling with Lyft and um, Acrobatic. You guys were oh, with right. the whole yeah, crew. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. And then um, we were, I guess, we met up with the, all the House of Pain and the La Coca Nostra yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was the, the whole bill. It was La Coca Nostra, Jedi Mind Tricks, and Outer Space, and then me, Lyft, and Acro. Right. But my brother and a couple of his friends, they were actually traveling to Europe, um, going for like a couple weeks to like Italy. So they kind of arranged it so they could come to. <laughs> they arranged it so um, they could take this. You know, they were taking the same flight. It just so happened they were taking the same flight, and they were going to go check the show out at Montreux. And uh, I remember we all got to the airport, and it was a big show and a big deal for me. And I was like, I'm the DJ of one of the groups. Like, yeah. I don't really have room to like get you guys to come along with us or anything you yeah. guys are on your own the best i mean don't get me wrong you're my family you're my brother yeah, i'm gonna you don't get you guys just make assumptions and stuff i'm right? gonna get you guys in the show for sure no yeah. question i can't wait we're gonna hang out when we're there it's cool but i know we're taking the same flight but when we arrive like i don't know what our rides are yeah there's gonna be it's gonna be a professional ordeal where we have rides arranged for us and there was only two vans and there was a group of us i mean a large right. group yeah and I guess language barriers, they somehow got into our van. Well, even though I told them, like, yo, man, you guys are going to have to find your own ride. You can't. We got equipment. And it's like, it's not my arrangement. Like, that was Jedi's arrangement. Yeah. That was Jan, the tour manager, like, arranging all that shit. Both. And they snuck in Both. to the van. And we had to, like, squeeze into the van for, like, a 40-minute ride or so. Do you guys remember that? Or I don't upset, remember. Were you upset about that in any way? Like, damn, man. I, if I was upset about it, I wouldn't remember it. <laughs> like, yeah. Lyft, tra yeah. Lyft, Lyft travels with, like, six people. <laughs> like, I yeah. felt so bad about that. My brother was sitting next to me. I was like, who the fuck is this asshole, man? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> no, man. You guys were... I don't remember that shit, man. elbow touch. My elbow. elbow. This could be and a that's a 10-hour flight, man. I don't really... As long as I'm off the plane, I don't give a fuck who's next. Honestly, I don't think it ever went that past that day. All right. Because we had to put some of our equipment in your van too and i remember i was just like god damn man what are you doing and i'm like yeah, um, yeah. all right cool i just i don't know i that just imagine deal, it'd be man. like man what the f the other yeah i remember, I remember, I remember seeing that and being like wow that's a big deal man i, I probably was hating a little bit too like damn man. my but father was your father very cried, proud of that. didn't he yeah he was very proud of that he used to be a dj <laughs> yeah that was his whole you guys you have you had the video right? Right? Pop, yo know, that's like miles davis like jimmy hendrix somebody does quincy jones had just left because he went to michael jackson's to European service, his funeral or whatever. Right, Remember right, they right. did like one in Europe and they did one yeah. in here. Yeah, he had just left, and Alicia Keys was there too. Dude, I think Prince right? Prince. Well, didn't this... the guy that runs the festival he took you to like a mansion and like a cool. castle it's in cool. the hills? And yeah, shit. this boy cool. had like vintage Ducatis like posted up in his living yeah. room. Who the fuck is he? Is he like a count? He, he created the the festival. The festival he's been doing. He, for... he start, what was it like? He started you with like a thousand dollars. Yeah, he started with like a jig. He started with a thousand dollar budget for American artists, so he would bring like one dude. Right. With a plane and everything, yeah. two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars after the flight, or whatever, and they turned it into that. Though. But yo, Prince played the Miles crazy. Davis Hall the night before us. No, like two or three nights before us, and then uh, Q Tip and Raphael Sadiq played the night before that us. Was, we went that night. Why? That night. That's a funny I night. mean, you know it was. You was said it wasn't Q Tip. That was Q Tip was an asshole. Yeah. Nah, right? he was mad cool. Nah, he was an asshole. Nah, he was. No, he walked by and said, Nah, he was an asshole. Went right to That's a whole story. He was an asshole to me. I met him in the lobby. And he was like, who the fuck are you? Oh, remember, he was like, who the fuck are you? Oh, yeah. Know. But they were like, they they, they didn't go nowhere. They they headlined tomorrow, and then he meant, then he's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like. But that's when Everlast and them were there, right? We took over the backstage. There. Oh, they tried to kick y'all out? No, yeah, I he remember. Was, he was being gay. Who, Q-Tip? Yeah. I remember. He was being gay. He had all this tight shit on. He was like a whole different, I don't know. He Why? was mad that people were in his area. Yeah. And we're like, they're like, they're the headliners tomorrow. It'll Doesn't that suck when you meet somebody that you admired when you were young yeah. and you're like, he wow, this kill. boy's a fucking nut. Did this boy's a clown. Was being real cool. Did you see the show, though? They killed the shit. That oh, no, show was crazy. smashed it, but Raphael Sadiq was better. He was in jail. Oh, Raphael Sadiq too. demolished it. Wyclef, yeah, Wyclef was there. We talked to him outside. He's incredibly Allen. underrated, man. Ooh. Raphael Sadiq, oh, big time incredibly underrated, man. I just remember that show, man. I felt like James Bond. He probably Bond. lives a good life, though. He's probably like, I'm not... 
the center of attention and right. I'm chilling. And I get this money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I heard I heard all the ladies was on them too. So yeah. Yeah. Custom he was drinking Budweiser or something. Remember? <laughs> yeah. It was weird. Like, what the nigga was supposed to be drinking, dog? Like some some. No, but I mean, no, we were drinking Heineken at least, bro. We were drinking Heineken. You don't drink, but you drink yeah. Budweiser. Where the shame, man? You ain't got Budweiser, but you got all these chicks around him. You drinking Budweiser? Budweiser. That might be his appeal. Like Rafi, he's so weird. I think he just drink what he want. That's why I thought it was it was. Was that the night that Fifty Cent called y'all out, or that was a different fest? That was a different. That was the night. Oh, that was the night after. You guys that played Zurich Open Air Festival, yeah, 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 which was bigger, but like not as oh, it's still it's still prestigious. But the most I mean, like, y'all jazz fest classy. is like you'd say that to yeah, somebody. Yeah, we did like, that in indoors. Did any of you guys? The Miles Davis Hall was an indoor. That was indoor. Event. Was indoors, yeah. right. So it wasn't as big as how that. Does it, how does it work? They, they, they have different uh, events all going all around at the same time, or is it just one night at one hall at Montreal? Like no, how does I think it work? It's during the day, it's the outside thing. No, I there's think. a main, Montreal's a main, there's a main room, Miles Davis Hall, and then there's a couple side rooms, and then there's a couple outdoor tents with like jazz music. Oh, That's so it's it not outside. I'm picturing an outdoor festival. No, no, Montreau's no, the main more, event. It's kind of both. You know, yeah, it's kind of it's yeah. definitely both. Anywhere you go, there's jazz musicians playing. There's mm -hmm. all acts playing, but the main, all the main shows, all the like the main like artists play in the Miles Davis Hall, which yeah. is the big venue. Yeah. Yeah, I played um, the Kyber um, Mad Times. So like, I, I know what y'all like. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like, you be in the festivals too. The Trocadero. Do any of you guys take saying? advantage? Like they would give Trocadero. Like, upstairs is a Trocadero. <laughs> <laughs> I had one in that joint a couple times. So like I feel like I know like the feeling y'all felt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, back, back to the Philly shit. Like I don't know, man. Me and Plan, we don't get no love here at all. Why? But I, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like y'all, like they, they. I feel like it's almost like people are scared to like. Scared? Like not scared. I'm scared. Like not scared. I kind of feel what he's trying to say. But like, I think like I know they, what he's they, to they say. feel like they like yo. We don't know how to take these balls. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, I think that's true. I, I feel like I get love just because I'm more, I'm more accessible. Y'all be in the cut. Like I don't think people think dog, like y'all don't like nobody. Everybody you know what I'm saying? I introduce myself. This how you that niggas are suck, dog. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, I think people think like yeah, like they think y'all hate. And like we'll, we'll like wild out on. I don't know. Do you? Am I wrong? No, I know what you mean. I'm not trying to diss y'all at all. No, I, know exactly I just feel like y'all don't fuck with niggas like that, yeah. so they feel like they. Yeah. You know how it works around here, dog. Yeah. Like, if you don't support or you don't act like you cool, then they don't do it back. Yeah, that's exactly. And y'all don't play that fine. game. Y'all yeah. don't play the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. It's not worth. You know, it. the thing I'm not is, it's, it's it's bigger than the Philly. You know what I mean? It's way bigger. Nobody want to show me bigger. love here. Then hopefully they'll show me love You just talked about the Montreal Jazz yeah. Festival. Yeah. Like that's a. You know yeah. what I mean? These niggas ain't never gonna do that. Well, the thing is, the thing is too like. People are, like we'll we'll throw release parties and like nobody will come. But Nigga, then, but we'll the, throw, the like, joint y'all did at Sigma last time was, was free. Popping. It was free. It was free. It was free. <laughs> it's a big fucking difference, dog. <laughs> That's that's what I was getting into. Like the Sigma John was popping, but it was free. Right. And we say, but we're like, look, we're like we want to do the voltage John. Right. We'll pay to rent it. We'll charge nobody. Y'all gonna do the same thing. We wanna do it yeah. free. I, like I said, I've get, like people talk to me on oh, oh you still underrated Philly. I'm like I don't give a fuck about Philly. Like you how many niggas from Philly that got love in Philly are actually doing anything? Yeah. You got yeah. Meek and Beanie yeah. and all them. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's if you literally take, if, you, it. if you took Beanie outside of here. It's a hard sell. He he never went to Europe. It's a hard sell. He never sell. toured to Europe. It's a hard free sell. and them didn't do nothing right. until recently. You know, until right. recently free figured out This is the route. He came to our route. he came to our side of the tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the route. That. Yeah. Yeah, beans. You know, he he didn't get to even experience it because he got into his issues. But mm -hmm. everybody else, they don't. They're so they're so trapped into here that even like the figures and all them, they just so trapped into here. Yeah, this is all they care about. Why, like, get, why Gilly still walking around? And it's a shame about because it's Philly, so the much, chicken man, and so all much that. fucking talent here. You know. Well, I feel like it's it's a, it's nobody pays attention to what's going on outside of here. They really are so concerned. But I I completely understand where y'all coming from though because it bothers me i feel yeah. like i don't get love here like i should not and you and you always make that face when i say that but it's true dog like it's yeah underground dudes that people are in there but like you I know, know what you mean. let me tell you a story the other night we was outside the truck boy had an apathy shirt on i was like oh that's a nice shirt he was like yeah man yo they were just here at union transfer motherfuckers were killing shit dog you should have been there and I'm sitting there looking at this bull and for like I, 10 minutes. No, and then I, Ty was like, you know he's in AO, AOTP. He's like, you are? You were there? Well, if you were there, you guys killed it. And I'm like, see, that's the shit I'm talking about, man. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And that nah, just happens internet. way more than that's not. That's the internet, bro. Nah. That's the internet. Because people... He was talking to me about how great this show was. Like, yo, you should have been there, dog. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at this boy like, are you fucking kidding me? Right <laughs> so you're, so you, like, it's the internet no, because yo, people, people down people 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 like, look at Y'all heard words. of Jedi Mind Tricks. I never heard of Outer Space. Uh, he was probably on a couple right. bags or something <laughs> at that show. Uh, what he did he say his name was? Nicky D. Dude, Anytime wearing, you say... He was wearing a hat with like... He had a hat on that had like studs in it. Like like sparkly studs in it, dude. That dude was tripping on fucking something. But it does annoy me. It does irritate me like you know when people don't know to us do like those that. like those little mistakes though yeah. bro, because people just download music don't care about artwork don't right. look at shit they just right. they go to those little sites steal right. music right. they never see anything they yeah just listen to i mean music. but i mean even on some like more personal level shit i feel like there are people that literally listen to our squad but only certain members and that that fucks my head up because i'm weird. like it's weird it's so weird like, i liked i liked all the woo members that's what i'm saying you know what I mean? Like yeah. I bought, you know, you got, I liked MC Ren. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hey, no. I'm listening to Easy. <laughs> you got had a joint that you, you know, yeah, he he had a couple. Of guys. Guys. About you <laughs> got. Why is he so made fun of? Him? Like, you <laughs> got. Right, you terrible, got. Man. I keep it a being. You, you got is the whack one, right? He's the whack one. But he's got some of the classic verses that people recite. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the Tommy Matola was the Tommy Matola. You slim Jim to make us stuffed inside pajamas. Like chest everyone boxes. knows that part. Mystery chest what was his verse on that? The Bolivia shit. That's oh, him, right? cocaine from Bolivia. Yeah, yeah. Hip-hop, straight to the road. Yeah, yeah. He's still corny though. Yeah, <laughs> but he's got some of the. He's, right. Right. Stand, he's got standout <laughs> verses. He found a way to have some standout verses. Yeah, so it is what it is. But if you saw you got, you used to be like, "Yo, you got, what's up?" You wouldn't be like, I've "Yo, you wouldn't be I've talking to you guys about how dope Wu is." Like, "Yo, yo man, Wu is crazy, dog. You should, you should try to link up with them." <laughs> like, I used to boy was sitting there talking to me, and I was like, "Yo, my ego, it was bruised." Like, I, I was sorry yeah. as shit because I'm thinking, I'm like, "Oh, yo, that's a nice apathy shirt, fam." And I hit him with the smile. Dog. Like, it's me. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, bro. Some like, cat. Apathy live, man. Some cat. <laughs> that's crazy, man. I was, I was on, on in Europe with a. Uh, with Vin it's like the first time I went out there with him mm-hmm. so we at the merch table yucking it up after the John and some boy was like yo Crip out of space <laughs> and like I'm like yo what's up man I'm like all oh, geeking and shit he's like planet's better <laughs> planet is better I, was like, I, was I like, love that story yeah, no doubt no, I know no you was mad as shit Daryl Hall said Daryl Hall shit it's that Daryl Hall Darryl shit, shit. <laughs> Yo, oh, you're not Oates, man. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, no, I, used, to, I used to hang Harlem, out with Des so much mm-hmm. that people thought Des was great. They thought he was great. <laughs> hey, yo, you your partner and shit. I'm like, see, my fucking partner is just a boy that be around me. What's good with Des? How's he doing? Shout out to Des DV. He's cool, man. Yeah. He sent me an email randomly the other day. It was a little weird, but I was like, all right. It was good to know he's alive. He's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Yeah, I'm saying. What's good with Des? He's alive. I mean, you know, he comes up, he comes out. Yo, 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 for two weeks he disappears for two right, years right. and comes back now that's his that's his original QD right yeah, for yeah, those yeah. who don't know what what was QD because I've always been curious like I know it's a crew but was it a graph crew it was more of a graph crew, crew right. to start right oh actually no that's that's a lie it was more of a me, L, Kev Turner whatever we all went to high school together mm-hmm. Pump Word. Gilly all them like right, right, back right. then mm-hmm. <clears throat> we went to high school and L and Kev kind of we were all sitting there, but they more, they came up with it, and it was like the Q dimension. I guess this is a Star Trek. Yeah, I don't know what Q dimension. Q dimension. Q going to the Q dimension or something. Oh, really? Was, so it all ties back in. Is it Star Trek or Star Wars? I don't know. I don't know none of that. Shit. That would probably be more Star Wars than than, than I think Star, it was Star Trek. Trek yeah. yeah, I think it's Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. So that's how that came about, and then you know, then you get the oh, quick draw, uh, quick dicky, and quiet, the, you know, whatever. You Everybody start get things yeah, up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But then like. I started to, you know, we all started the graffiti. We would just write it. So then it mm-hmm. became more of like a graffiti thing. Mm-hmm. And then everybody was going off to, we got out of high school and everybody. So that, the rap shit, it just, we would always say it. But for us, it was more of graph and hip hop. Hip hop, just yeah, rapping right. on the corner type what shit. What was your tag? If you, I mean, you can, can you I say was, it I now? was Planet. Yeah, planet. Was, yeah, yeah. You were crazy? I was Master nah, Planet. AKS. AKS. I was Master yeah. Planet at first. Master Planet. But then there was like a master. So I mm-hmm. cut that. Did you ever have a tag as a cow? It was the anxious one. That was your whole the anxious one. Mm-hmm. That's actually how ridiculous. Planet came about. <laughs> one can of paint on a tag. <laughs> That's actually how that Planet. Was the anxious one. That was the one. ruler of all. That was dot, the... dot, dot, dot. <laughs> That's actually how the rap name came though, because I was just master playing as graffiti, right. and then my man Souls Sean used to be like, just write Master Planet mm-hmm. or something. 
And then that's how it started. And then I cut the mask off and just right. like, stayed playing. Right. right. You guys had serious graffiti beef back in the day. Like, y'all oh, were yeah, going yeah, to war yeah. with dudes, huh? Yeah, big time. That's crazy. I couldn't never imagine. That happened, though, because it made me stop. Really? Yeah. 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 My pop was a, a psychotherapist. Mm hmm And he was counseling somebody. And it so happened to be one of the dudes I was beefing with. Mm -hmm. And we had a... um like a old promotional picture that he had like up on his wall but he's not allowed to say like that's my son you know everything's like mm -hmm. confidential right so dude's like you know that dude right there and he's like oh, yeah, it's a group from around here we gonna kill that boy wow and it was me told your father that but he, they didn't know that was my pop right he's just counseling the dude yeah. you know what i mean and I was, he called i don't know what is he me and him weren't in the best spot mm -hmm. either so mm -hmm. he was like um I don't know what the fuck you did. Mm -hmm. There's people out here ready to fuck you up. But I said, oh, shit, oh. damn. What was it? You crossed somebody's name out? Like, so, No, what it was was I was with T. We were just bombing. Mm -hmm. And he went over somebody that was already crossed out. Ah, uh, okay. So graffiti rules, it's already crossed out. So we'll go over it. That saves you the embarrassment. Right. You know? So, so they didn't go after it. the guy that already crossed the mind that came after y'all. Yeah. And then it was, I remember one night we walked around bombing dissing each other all around the neighborhood we kept missing were you there that night nigga yeah yeah, there. yeah. we was riding around dog, they got was... you <laughs> no not that night uh, I'm talking about we were bombing <laughs> this shit dog we were bombing I've never understood that shit was graffiti, kind of funny it was, it was, it was a rush though because we were bombing and everywhere it would be like fuck planet and then I crossed that out fuck you know whoever right 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 and we were missing each other by minutes. We were walking like Fifth and Lehigh. And we were around yeah, like we would get a big lineup. slam, and then we go around the corner and a huge X through it like minutes later. Yeah, and then I was doing the same shit. Like wow, it was on, but you know Did we had you... little one little violent situation. We were so outnumbered. It was fucking ridiculous. It was like yeah. ninety to five. I caught a bad one. Size caught a bad one. My brother size. You know what? I'm kind of glad it was me because if it was him, this nigga wouldn't be here right yeah. now. Yeah, they were. They, we had airbrush hoodies with our names on them, and they were flipping. When they were getting at them, they would flip the hoodie. That's not him. And they were just like, oh, we'll just break his arm. They broke your arm? Yeah, because I was blocking my head from getting hit with a fucking uh, a club from a car. Oh, that's <laughs> over fucking... T I never understood the culture, man. Well, that's, one fun, element man. Of, that's one element of the culture that I never got. Like, y'all niggas is fucking crazy, man. I still love it to this day. Because well, the beef art is corny, but I like... Did, uh, I did the infamous mag. It's a graffiti mag. I did their uh, Christmas party. And these boys was in there. They had they markers okay. and they bad like look at this you know, like they were so like it's it's something that people really take serious like i'm not dissing it. it i didn't i look i didn't i didn't get up like that and um mm -hmm. i'm not I'm on front like i did i just loved it my brother t wrote graffiti i wanted to be like t right it was more like me you t know and vocab right they right, right. got down but you do know you, i loved it i still love it to this day i geek out overlooking shit on do you still follow world. it and you know like what's up in the city like, do you, like I mean, is it still I the just, same you know, driving around oh, no there's still what? graffiti beef in philly no but there's still some like good yeah there's a lot of, gra actually graph looks like it's coming back here heavy I yeah mean, did you to see the shepherd ferry thing on frankfurt ave it went up Shepard Ferry put that big, huge thing across from Johnny Brenda's. Oh, the, the old, day the, later, the obey shit. They left right? the scaffolding up on the building. The day later, it was just white graffiti shit, all <laughs> like tags just all over it. Uh, they uh, fixed uh, it the next day. I so. suck at art, anything art, so I never got into it. My, still up there. my tag or whatever was so just right, dog, but I see the autographs. I'm like, damn, yo, it was chicken, like chicken scratch, yo. Chicken I scratch. always tell Reef with like the re like some of the CDs we have for Marshall. I was like, yo, man, you should sign the back. <laughs> Cause like, Don't yo, sign on the front because it looks terrible. The cover, dude. <laughs> I've seen it. He be like, uh. well, yeah, so, but you said your dad was was doing therapy too, but wasn't he a prominent DJ in the city at one point? He worked for DAS for like thirty years. That's crazy. Yeah, man. He was under like Georgie Woods and Jerry Wells. Rest in peace, dudes, Georgie yeah. Woods. Georgie Woods had potato chips, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah, used to snacks, fuck them John up. He was one of the two. <laughs> so your dad understood the graffiti element. Like he understood the well. No, the funny thing, thing about it, that. Right? There's another funny story about that. He took me to like graffiti something counseling or whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> uh, I guess it was anti graffiti had like a thing. Yeah, the anti graffiti network. Some bullshit, right? Yeah. And he took me. It was one thing. And the guy that was talking, you know, I used to write whatever, whatever. What you write? What you write? And then my pop standing there, and he was like, "Hold up, ain't, ain't you dip?" <laughs> Big dip from back on, eat from butt, look, you know, whatever. My pop used to write. Wow. And then he was just like, shut up, shut up. Shh. You know, like, he was trying to school me, but he did the same shit. What was his tag? Big dip? Dip. Dip. And the fucking crazy shit was, it was a coincidence, because when I used to write with T, T wrote dip. Really? So, and my pop was King Dip. King Dip. Yeah. That's so it was crazy. Just a good coincidence. He was no, they weren't. He wasn't into me doing it though. You know, right. He was on his parent drum. Right. right. Was he, he did he did he, he, he did he support the music? 
decisions? Did both y'all, did all y'all people support oh, yeah, the music yeah, yeah. or did you get you any know, resistance? My, you know, our parents always going to be worried, but mm -hmm. what helped me out was my brothers supported very heavy. And right. they were into their school thing real heavy. Mm -hmm. So my mom wanted me to be in my school thing real heavy, but right. it just wasn't. It wasn't for me. It wasn't yeah. for me. <laughs> but my brothers were like, let him be, let him do what he's doing. Right. He can. He's good at it. Right. People like it. Right. Let him keep doing. You know. Yeah. My mom, they, they supported it though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so sure. What about your peoples? Nah. Yeah. Pop was locked up. My mom yeah. worked all the time. So. Right. You know what though? The, the graffiti shit kept us in the crib. Yeah. Yeah. His we mom, had yeah, turntables in the basement, just like this. Yeah. Right. His mom was, was like, as long as all these kids are in the house and not in the street, and that saved us because. Your mom seems mad cool. We were in the street. If we were in the streets, it would have been no good. Every we time we would be out there, something would happen. Oh yeah, fights. Every time. Fights. Yeah, always. It was like clockwork. So we, we would left, drink forties. Somebody came back with a story. It was always something. We would drink forties, you know, go cop a few nicks of weed, mm -hmm. and my mom would be like, Taste "I know this. what y'all doing. I ain't stupid. Right. You know what I mean? Right." But, but she felt like as long as y'all here, yeah, because you yeah. know what, we'd stay in the crib, listen mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Hip hop, yeah, and bomb everything. We bombed my whole basement. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. and that's what we did. And that's where all the at the all music. times, twenty four seven. There was somebody that didn't live in my house that was in my basement. <laughs> and I was the sober guy teaching them about hip hop. Right, right, right. You would teach them the elements, the elements of hip hop. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand. You <laughs> playing? You was when you was like super duper hip hop back in the day, bro. Like you were like, yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was what it was. Yeah, I was what it was. I, I mean, backpack, that. fucking. Yeah. You know whatever well, I could do, but what are the elements? You watch how I, watch how I do this. Watch how I'm smooth. What are the elements of hip hop? Is beef. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and right. uh, you know you know it was coming, baby. Oh you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. Bring so it on. MMA, right? Murder makes art. Makes art. For those who don't know, that title was originally supposed to be the album title for somebody that we used to be in the crew with. I'm gonna just call him out, Just a Law. Uh, all of a sudden, over a year or two period, he's decided to to beef with all of us pretty heavy for no reason that I could think of because I didn't do shit to the dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's what weird. the fuck is this all about? <laughs> How do you see it ending? And what do you? Uh, we're gonna just keep one statement on it, and we're gonna get into the song. Um, this the, is the first single, by the way, off the Lost in Space record. Right. So we about right. to play that in a minute. He, I mean, this happened with him before. People, you know, people that follow. I remember like it happened heavy. before I came around, yeah, and he, you you didn't want him back in the picture, and you warned yeah, niggas like don't yeah, let him back around. Yeah. That was your thing. And he got back around, and it is what it is. That was fine. Everybody deserves a second chance. But the the funny thing about it, and you know, Twitter, whatever, you know, people. How many? I mean, people ask all of us, "What's the real deal? What mm -hmm. really happened?" Like, there's really no fucking story I don't know what happened nobody yeah, did mean, anything yeah. to anybody it's just, it's he's, one just, of them things, he's got it? his personal demons and I think he wants to be he wants to be Vinny yeah I guess that's the only way I could put it he wants to be the forefront he wants to be the brain of the operation and I think he realizes he's not capable of right. doing that well yeah don't won't you, don't, you, don't of, you do that by, by taking the opportunity that you have of being a member of one of the most prominent underground hip hop groups Man, right look, give it. me that opportunity. Watch what I do. You but know what I'm saying? Is, like, the thing is, he when he did a solo, even though that was like something he didn't even really support. Right. And it was the worst thing I've ever heard. But it did well. Yeah. It did really well just because it piggybacked the JMT. Name. It didn't right. piggyback Vinny. It right. piggybacked JMT. Yeah, Matrix, right. And it didn't it didn't run. He didn't run with it. I right. mean, he's got He's a, he's got. Well, he was saying that album issues. wasn't his album, and they stole the beat, they stole his lyrics, and put him to well, beats and shit. He, did just, he disappeared. That's when he ran to Boston and did all this shit with all them weird dudes. Right, and right, right, he, right. They took whatever vocals they had and they made whatever they could. I, I didn't realize know, that clearly was a, it's I a pattern he was of behavior. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know. But if I see him, I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. I feel the same. I'm way. gonna just keep it in yeah, with you. But yeah, outside yeah. of that. He's just too too disrespectful. At this yeah, point. I mean, you know, he basically said that, like, you know, when I had that bout with cancer, like, you know, I'm not the type of dude to ask anybody for anything. You know of what course. I mean? And and my family threw me a benefit. You want to know why? Because I fucking needed it. Right. Yeah. You I got it. a mortgage. I got cars. You know what I mean? Like and all right. that other shit. And he you know, tweeted some real disrespectful shit. Who the fuck ever hates some, on a cancer benefit? Like, some, you gotta be out of your fucking mind. Some, some you know passive shit like. Uh, cats need to start focusing on GMOs and uh, instead of, you know, focusing on what they eat and GMOs on, you know, when they get sick and stop begging on the internet for charity. And I was real sick at the time. 
Yeah. And, you know, plan hit me like, yo, I know you're going to see this sooner or later. And I was like, you know, I'll deal with it when I, you know, deal right. with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not. And that was a great night. Yeah, it was a, a great beautiful turnout. Night. Yeah. Beautiful night. I mean, you look good, man. How are you doing? Doing I'm, good? As far as I know, I'm healthier than a head of lettuce. I feel good. good man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you look good, man. It works for a lot of good. life. Yeah, yeah, you sound like a yeah. head. Healthier than nuttier than squirrel shit. Nah, I mean, you know, and it's just like. I'm just like, look, man, just get off the internet, get in the studio, and try to salvage whatever career you have left. Right. Mm -hmm. Music ain't my one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Right. there's just, other things yeah. I can do, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's not, but that's your one, homie. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you get got. in the lab, mm -hmm. stop bickering like a little bitch on the internet, <laughs> mm -hmm. and get to work. Right. Yeah. But right. And, and salvage a, whatever reputation you got left. You know what I don't saying? think that's He's even a possibility at this bro. point. He's incapable yeah. of creating something on his own. Right. He, he sat. I think hey, that was, nigga told what? me before that he like he's like yeah I don't I don't know how to write like hooks and stuff I just come with the ill verses like he said that before no like, he, t he whatever maybe he might have done two or three songs total mm -hmm. at some point but I remember he wanted me to do a hook because he said that I can't I don't know how to do that type <laughs> shit he's incapable <laughs> basically he's incapable and I think Burke might have been on a song mm -hmm. and I did the hook and he was like yeah like if you don't mind like you do like all of them. <laughs> like all my jaws and I'm like nah all dog <laughs> you can't do that you know like fuck is that then I was like I'm not dealing with that but he, I think it's just he's got I don't know his his, his life history or like mm -hmm. what he went through as a child mm -hmm. so I think that has you know whatever he went through I mm -hmm. think it's like it, I think it just fucks with I mean I, clearly there's a pattern here yeah you he's, know he's sick in the head he's definitely. sick he needs so, help so at this it point it makes like, it harder to like be like mad cause you're like damn this, you're dealing with a crazy person yeah you know it, it, it's, um, I, I can't entertain it I entertained yeah. it like one time Right. I just can't entertain right. it no more. You I did good. You guys, you, you, you said some funny shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Y'all yeah, went back and forth I mean, for a while. Because if you keep it, I mean, I, I held back. You did. You Very didn't put a lot so. of stuff out there that you could have. Right. Yeah, because, right. because it, 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 some of the stuff is so bizarre, it would sound like I'm lying. Yeah. I just love the like the white kill whitey, but then like you stay with like an ugly white John as your as your lady. That's the funniest shit to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? If you say that, most hilarious shit. Yeah, I mean, you know. Wait, he I'm, says that? He says, like, the white man did it. And then you see him later with a busted ass white joint. Like, just like fucking trash. But what'd you call the one joint? What was the singer chick from the 80s? It's Jane, uh. Jane Child. Jane Child. <laughs> What was her song? What was it? No. Her song was that shit though. No, she had shit. the jaw connected. No, the I forget now. I'm gonna look that up. Ah oh, shit! I would look that song up today. What the fuck was that shit called? Jane Child. We gonna find it. That was my. That was that work. I used to love but that I mean, like I said before, my take with that whole thing is like I've only experienced this once before, once or twice before, and both times it was by a female that was hurt that I played her. Like literally, this is the well, same type I mean, of that type of interact. The stuff the dude was saying to me, like he was like trying to like. You know, we went back and forth on text um, in the beginning of all this, and he, you know, the stuff that he was saying it was just like the most petty, like, like trying to be hurtful, but like you reading and you're like, wow, this boy's like a fucking clown, like he's like a child, you know. Yeah. So I hope I hope he gets the help that he needs, but in the meantime, I actually really don't. You don't. You what? Well, you hope he like off himself? No, no, I gotta go that far. <laughs> but I mean, no, I'm not even gonna say that. That's that's wrong for me to say because I don't promote myself to be that kind of person. Right, right, but, right. He's been so out of pocket mm -hmm. that it's hard for me to like have any sympathy for him right. at this point. He is just stay away cold. from me, right? Stay away and from me. That's better for him. Yeah, you know yeah. that's how I look at it. Yeah. So this be this title being MMA, this is you took this as a shot to well, him. basically, like yeah, like if, if, let's you know, I'll show, see, I went, we're hey, going to show you how to create music mm -hmm. and release it. Right. Let, yeah, yeah. Follow the blueprint. Yeah, like, blueprint, you know, and yeah. everybody in the squad is releasing music. You do shit on your own. My brother Size puts out records every other week on he his does. own. I stay on his ground. What up, boy? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like shout out that new JMT dropping, that new Star Face dropping, yeah. Apathy dropping, yeah. Self you know, always in the cut. Yeah, yeah, like always. that's what I'm saying. Like you say that you're the best rapper ever. Yeah. Put out a song, a song. Yeah. Ten, you know what I mean? One album in ten years, dog. I can divide. <laughs> hey, come you know on, what man. I mean? We're not, we not gonna bring that. <laughs> no, 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 but what I'm saying let's, is, let's not go like, down that road. All right, because right. you know I mean? because go the records he do not do drop. We gonna talk about that. If you're the best rapper, they on Team Jay Z. You know what I mean? If you're the best rapper and and you're better than everybody in the squad, 
then put some fucking music out. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just, you know, give the music to the to the people that entertain you on your Twitter feed? Right, right. Do you know, something. you came out with a release date November 26th. Almost two years ago. 2013, November 26th. Let's keep no, that. No, but there was even talk about that shit way even before that. Yeah. So He's incapable. Since he then, everybody's the dropping word, records just, for he you. He doesn't know what to, He doesn't... He yeah. can't do it. Wow. I, I, um, I helped him uh, one time, like, fix his studio in his bedroom. I had to, like, go to his house in Collingswood. This was, like, back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I remember that. This was a while ago. I and that. I was like, I... I, I this is personal you shit, said, but I, Yo, you said, did he touch you? Like, no. What? <laughs> no, he said, he said, you sound like you were about to tell us some, like... No, I just didn't know how to help him, because I was like, I, I don't know what to do with this equipment that you have. Yeah. Uh, what do you have, like an M-Box like, and a laptop? I'll plug it in for you and, like, <laughs> give you some tips. Yeah. Um... Uh, He's okay good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll try my He's best. Like, I want to I wanna make music. I'm going to make some music. Oh, God. But anyway, fellas, we Pay appreciate Texas, your time. Dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, you, uh, yeah, thanks for coming here, man. I, we didn't get to talk about your uh, Blades of Steel battle, but uh, well, you guys got into it. We can do a quick recap, right? Yeah, I yeah. do Crips ass yeah. for Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, but check. he put some shit on IG and doctored the score all up. That's no, it, yeah, I put 9 2 by score. accident, but it was actually 9 It was 9 5, man. It was 9 4, bro. You was on your phone the whole time. <laughs> And I beat you nine to four. No, nine to five you were on, my on phone? your phone the whole time when the final score was up. It was 9 5. All right, well, so I beat him by four in hockey. That's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no fights, though. There was one. Nah, I dropped him. You, 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 you can fight on that yeah, job? Yeah, 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 I yeah, bet you if he went to my fucking goalie, my goalie would have whooped his ass because my goalie was a goon. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let nothing pass him, dog. So you you leaving here to go to a baseball game? To, uh, yeah, yeah. You love baseball. What, yeah, what I'm is, just going home to cry. Yeah, me too. I'll be right behind you, bro. Have fun, y'all. Y'all can just cry together here. If yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I still don't understand your obsession with baseball. That's well, some family well, well, shit. One you gotta, well, I one feel you like gotta, it's the most boring. Like, one, you got to you gotta factor in that our culture is big in baseball. Right. So my grand, growing up for me, my grandfather in Hunting Park, yeah. he ran the, the semi-pro league. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So he was a big deal there. So when okay. I was a young buck, I walked with him. We watched baseball. That's all mm -hmm. we did all day. Mm -hmm. That's how I knew his father before I knew them. Right. Because he like, either played or I don't know what it was, but I knew him through there. Like, I remember. Mm -hmm. The the field on 9th and the Boulevard, mm -hmm. they named after him. Wow. So I was Your big, grandfather? My grandfather. Damn. And all he did was take us to Philly. I mean, baseball yeah. had been my whole life. So. Okay. Well, well as, a, as a game, right, forget right. all that. As a game, it's a, it's a game of the brain. So that's yeah. why I like it. It's not... It's it's not like the reason I don't like hockey is because it's fast paced, low score. Right. Same with soccer. Right. It's fast as shit, low score. Yeah. Sometimes no score. Right. No. Phillies. I mean, baseball is slow pace, low score. Yeah. I think it's just it's it's what it's supposed yeah, to be. Phillies and do you don't, you don't like going to Phillies games? Going I've to the never games. been to one. Dog, I think what? I've been to one. You'll respect it. I went man. to one. Yeah. I go hooked it up, and I felt so fraud. I had the, the Philly shit. I was like, I'm such a fraud. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's he fun, was dog. taking me to like, what's the Hall of Fame? Go, you know what? Oh, go with your lady. Yeah, yeah. Go with your lady. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great being out in the ball field, but the Phillies are terrible. Right? Yeah. Some cash, yeah, but I like baseball. Well, look, the problem is Ryan Utley needs to Ryan step out the box so that the DH. The DH needs to, you know what I mean? Nah, I, I, baseball's a great game. Ryan Utley. Yeah. That's the thing, if you don't know Did the Did you play Little League and all that? Yeah, I played Little League. Yeah, yeah. yeah I figured that. If, if you don't know what's going on, too, like, right. you don't understand what's going on. That's like with me with hockey. I don't really know the rules, so mm -hmm. a lot of times I'm like, I don't even know what's going on. Right, right, right. So, I probably shouldn't hate it as much yeah. as my, more my lack of knowledge nah. of it. Yeah. That's how it is with baseball, though. Right, right. You I know? like home runs. That shit's always dope, and I like when they, when they catch the ball, like, <laughs> I like home runs when they catch the no, ball. No, like when the ball catch the ball, throw it across his body, like to get somebody out of the plate. That's always laughed to me. I don't know what you call that. Mm. It's just an just out. A, uh, baseball. An out. It's called it's baseball, dude. <laughs> yeah, throw it the plate. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it's not this crazy. No, it's but just like, a no, game. no, no. Like when the ball, like he drop to his knees, catch the ball, and he it's has to turn out, around. Like a ground out. That's, yeah, that's, he do like a fancy play. Uh, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's a web gem. The yeah. what? <laughs> you making words? <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 It's a web gem. Bam, bam, bam. Da, da, da. Once again, we appreciate y'all time. Um, uh, Lost in Space will be out soon. In the meantime, Hello. MMA, Murder Makes Art, first single dropping, Out of Space. What's the, the shout out the websites, whatever people... Well, tomorrow, because it's the 13th, right? So the 14th. Right. Tomorrow, SoundCloud, uh, Out of Space Hip Hop. Right. So we'll release it for download and everybody can have it. Yeah, man. 
All right, we appreciate y'all. Reef Radio, episode 12, my brother's out of space. Um, MMA, first single, debuting right now. Let's go. Yep. Bang. All crazy. All crazy. Reef Radio episode twelve. Uh, yeah, that track's yeah, crazy. I feel like we've uh, we've entered in the like hot ninety seven territory now with like you know rap beefs popping off. Yeah, that debuting. Was a great interview. Nah, I mean, but great guys. Great song, and uh, they're really good people, man. I love those dudes. Like they're they're genuinely good people, and you know, I feel like anybody that would would try to you know slander them or, or make them out to be you know bad people i think though you know that that needs a response to it that needs to be addressed because you know it's not a lot of good people out here so you can't let the bad people make the good people look bad does that make sense to you did i just blow your mind you is your my mind, mind blew my mind <sighs> no man I've, I've i've um you know you're fr more friends on like a family level with mm -hmm. those guys but mm -hmm. um you know we've done like i said when we yeah. just discussed like we've done some shows over the years mm -hmm. and like those guys are always um you know i judge i judge people on like when they come up to you and say hello yeah like uh like that always means a lot to me like i tried to do that myself mm -hmm. but they were oh, those guys have always been like they're in a conversation with someone i like you know, next to them like, yo calf what's up or yo todd mm -hmm. what's up you know mm -hmm. so uh, i will you know yeah. much respect to them so good to do the show that track's amazing like shout out to uh scott stallone because yeah, his Scott, production Scott is beat. like yeah Scott slept on the producer side he's an incredible engineer but he's also a pretty dope producer great great yeah. great producer so I, um, love, I love that uh, 
he's like the go-to right now because he was he used to be a you know best kept secret but he's blown up recently everyone everyone goes to scott now everyone, well, the he, word the word is out you know well I mean? he did um he did that record the the dutch album which we were talking about so slept on and i love that record but that's so really a, um it's um a stoop produced record but mm. when you read the credits a lot of the instrumentation i didn't know i always just thought scott was yeah. just a, a, a mixing engineer mm. and then it's like he played most of the instruments on it and that's when i really started to pay attention like, but that track's great yeah so. man i'm I'm staring at your like you have like the, the like, the what? '80s drug dealer uh, glasses on right now. It's pretty yeah. fucking sick. That's Those it. are cool. Like you look like you what just do you did need, dude. You need <laughs> some uppers. You need you some downers. Like, you look like you need like a uh, sweatsuit on. You need like, some zip zoops. <laughs> some, you need some daffy duck. You need some poppers. <laughs> poppers, right? That was an '80s thing. What, what else? Uh, uh, um, quaaludes. Quaaludes. Yeah. What the fuck were quaaludes? I wish. Dude, I wish you want some quaaludes, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine? You want some... a Nick bag? <laughs> Got a Nick bag. Do Yo, they sell Nick bags anymore? I I went to my old, five dollar weed bag. I went to my old neighborhood. For those who don't know, in West Philly, not too long ago, and randomly st stumbled upon somebody that had Nick bags, and I bought one, and it was the shittiest weed ever. <laughs> but it just I, it was so nostalgic, you know. It was so nostalgic. You bought a Nick bag. I bought a Nick bag, dude. Just like you know, like I couldn't believe I couldn't believe that it was actually happening. Like this, someone was offering five dollars worth of weed in 2015. Like that what guy, would, yo, what, that guy rules. Like I had to be like, hell yeah, yo, dude. The, the really good <laughs> got Nick's. The really good weed. If it was sold for Nick, how much weed would you get? Ah oh, man, it, you, would it be a pinky nails? It worth? wouldn't even be like you couldn't a bowl. You it wouldn't could, even yeah, be a bowl. It'd it? probably be a bowl. Yeah. A bowl. I feel like. So why don't they do that? I feel like a good bowl pack is like a gram is twenty. So you figure a, it's five dollars split it by four. Yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be like four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like so five. Dollars. We just heard the train. Well, I mean, you, unfortunately, with the studio, um, which I love where I live right now, but you'll hear the train from time to time. Um, but you just took the train here. Yeah, I took How the train. How was your experience? The L train. It was good. Well, what I you usually do? You took the bus to where? Yeah, well, I usually what I usually do is I I hop the bus to uh, Second and Gerard, and then I walk from there to your house under the L. I don't mind the walk, especially if I have my headphones. You know, anyone that knows me, I'm a walker, man. Like yeah. you know, like I don't I don't drive, which is something I'm trying to change. I'm not very motivated to do it though, just because like you know, like it's like. You know, it seems it's like it's been a long. It's been half your life where you could have had I mean, a, I'm a, a city license. kid, dude. Like I'm, I can get to everywhere I need to get to, and if I can't, like, it's definitely been inconvenienced now that I have a family. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's one part of it. But for the most part, I I don't mind. Well, you just know, get walking. your license just in case. Yeah, but I feel like even if I have my license, even if I have my license, I'm not going to feel comfortable right, well, tell me with this. the kids in the car for like you know a year at least. Tell so me I'm, this though. Now what? I know adrenaline. Here, take that real quick. What? I, I know adrenaline would um would probably get you through it. But uh, say if there was an emergency, right? Yeah. And you had to drive the car. How do you think your performance would be? Um, like if you had to like pretty terrible. I'm I'm yo the like, race the race car games at the arcade. Like, yeah. I have fucking crap. Like I'm I'm pretty bad, man. I'm you don't think bad. like if you had to. I mean, like, if you have to do anything, emergency I mean, experience. Oh, I mean, if I had to, if it, it involved, if it involved like life or death with someone I love, I would. No, I, would, I know you I would, would do it. I, right. I would, how how would your how do you feel like you would do? Is, is that how bad you like? You really don't know the operations like gas and, and brake. I and, do, like, but my body. Signal. I'm so awkward and, and like my mind is always racing and like you have to be on point. You know how, how much I space out. I know I you space just, out. Like, I know when you talk, you talk with your hands and you hit the mic all the time. Yeah, I mean that's just what I do. You know what I mean? Like I, I space out, man. I Which doesn't out. bother me anymore because it's just I space out. There's no way you could not do yeah, that. Yeah, it's just who I that's am. How you that's do, just that's how what I you am, do. Man. You know, I just feel like it's. Uh, Look at this dude's face. <laughs> I feel like it's uh it's just something that I I mean, obviously I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's just reading the book and doing all the stuff, you know, but it's gonna happen. I, I have to do it and I will. But in the I'll meantime, I took the train. Um I usually like I said, get the bus to second and market. So you did that again? I mean second and uh Gerard, Gerard and then walk under the L. To, to your crib and it's it's actually a pretty cool walk because you know if you ever walked under the L yeah uh, on front heading north it's it's like you know you get that sense of old Philly like what Philadelphia used to look like kinda you know what I'm saying well is the bus is the bus 
So you did that again. You took the bus to Second and Girard and then you jumped on. Took it. To no, bus. I took this time. I took the bus to uh, Second and Market. Yeah, and that's then, all you have to do. And then I got on the L. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Easy as shit, right? Yep. Easy as pie. And I was here a lot quicker. You know, I, but like I said, I, I don't mind the walk. So we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. Maybe next time I still get off bucks? of Girard. Three. Three bucks. Three. Mm-hmm. I was here in like fifteen minutes. So awesome, man. But um, anyway. Reef Radio episode 12 another one in the books we yeah, want to man. thank you guys for continuing to listen and support us um, absolutely we really love you guys we're going to make an announcement uh, for the next show for sponsors and, and uh, if you ever want anything mentioned on the show as well if you're a company or whatever you are um, it would be our pleasure because uh, support local businesses to support us you right. know? <laughs> yeah. good, uh, good we are a radio time. show and, yeah. and, and uh, we, we enjoy <laughs> doing it. You, know, you got your like, uh, you got your uh, like creepy uh, old man next and, door. Uh, <laughs> if you want to support to the show, <laughs> if you want to get down, well, I want to DJ for 90.1, the Temple Jazz Station. Oh, so like, can... And now for John Coltrane <laughs> on tenor sax. Ah, uh, they Richard. got it good. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to get on the on the real and radio one day. On <laughs> Todd Radio. That should, yeah, we should do a special dedicated to just that style of radio. Like, <laughs> it's so Todd, uh, have you been playing some new music? <laughs> but anyway, um, all right, talk about yeah. So we have a special kind of. Um, oh yeah, yeah. We got a bonus, bonus interview, bonus, bonus. Uh, we have uh, on top of the outer space interview, or should I say, but right behind it, pause. Uh, is the interview I did uh, on the phone with uh, Grand Agent, who is. Uh, you know, Philly legend, prominent uh, underground MC, and uh, somebody that looked out for me very early on in my career and has always been uh, extremely supportive. Um, he is having his 40th birthday party. Um, I want to say it's May 23rd. I'm pretty sure that's the date. Uh, but we did an interview. Um, or is it May 16th? Mm. I can't remember right now. It's either May 16th or May 23rd. It's one of the two. It's definitely one of the two. So, you know, just keep an ear out for that. Um, but, yeah, we did an interview on the phone with Grand Agent. Um, journalist, my man, or another Philly legend. Uh, new guy, Carl Madison, who's going to come up. Dope artist. And also one of the dudes from Camp Low. I can't remember which one. He basically, it was a conference call. Suede, right? I don't know. It was, uh, yeah, J- Johnny Dan- J- Johnny- Danny Johnson. I don't know. The dude got on the phone. It was a conference call. He got on the phone like one time uh, for like 10 seconds and like, you know, said he was on the phone and was like, yo, this is such and such from Camp Low. What up? And then like we lost him. So, so was, yeah, you and Granny. So I can't really it's say. May, it's May 16th, by the way, the show. May 16th. I knew it was, I was like, I don't know. Um, I definitely know that um, that guy, I was on the phone for two seconds, but the interview that uh, transpired between us three was really dope. So it's uh, May 16th at Voltage Lounge, Grand Agent, uh, Journalist, uh, Carl Madison, Last Emperor, yep, and uh, Camp Low. That's a pretty fucking incredible sure. lineup. Absolutely. So we talked about that. And uh, some other things, life and love and all that uh, stuff that you talk about amongst friends. So that's a bonus. What do you do to, to hear it? You just go to the next track on here. Yeah, on so it's going to be the next track on the SoundCloud. Because um, it's, it's, it's a pretty lengthy interview, so we wanted to kind of separate them a little bit and give it its own shine. How long is it? It's uh, like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, something like that. Wow, is that a half hour? Something like that, yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah, so right after you listen to this, I'm hoping you are listening. Um, <laughs> just you just switch to the next track. But, you know, I want to bring something up. Um, you would, uh, I want to bring Thank some- you all for listening to that. I-, I know you probably can't. Um, it's going to kind of bring in my next track, the track that I pick for duo. Oh, yeah, best duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, By the way, Outer Space wanted us to mention that. Aside from their track that they played, we you know for time reasons yeah they picked the track right. Um, but the track that they picked was "Suckers Need Bodyguards" by Gangstar. Yeah, two R's. And I'm 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 gonna um I'm gonna post that I'm gonna post their song right. on the site so you can you watch go. it. But um yeah my I don't know how brief you can keep this because it is a pretty serious subject. But I feel like it should be mentioned and it'll definitely bring in the song that I picked is uh, what's going on in Baltimore, which is a continuation of what all this stuff's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't know what your thoughts are. I don't know if you can keep it short, but if you yeah. can, I just want to, I was just curious of like what your take on all this stuff is, and um, like 
if it ever all, any of this I will mean, ever be I mean, resolved, yeah, or you think me, it's just going to be a me, vicious cycle? Yeah, it's going to yeah. escalate even yeah. more. Well, I feel like you know history repeats itself. Um, sadly for me, it's just been reality my whole life. You know, people uh, being, you know, tired and angry and scared and not sure of what tomorrow is going to bring and uh, being repeatedly uh, stopped from getting out of that life. You know, it, it creates a bubble, it creates a, uh, it, creates a, it, <laughs> yeah. creates a it creates a contagion. You know, it creates uh, just resentment, and, and and it's like a petri dish, and it's just it just fills up. And, you know, it gets dirty and disgusting, and it turns into this monster, man. And that's where we're at. You know, it's, we're just we're just dealing with you know everything building up. Do you feel and, like and, and, and spilling over, and, and that's what you're seeing. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not a coincidence that this stuff happens. You know. You know, it feels like the the country's on fire, and that's because it is. You know, there's people all over that are just like sick and tired, and it's just it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's getting to a point where you you like you can't breathe. You feel like you feel it, you feel it. You know, and then yeah, yeah. and here we are. It's it's starting to spill out, and it, it hasn't reached anywhere where it's gonna go. Well, there's nothing. There's it's nothing, gonna go like it's gonna be bad. Well, there's man. nothing positive from it. But if you like, do you feel like at all? If you look at this, like at least there's i don't know how to word it but it's being that it's actually this type of thing is happening and it, that's the positive because is that at, it's happening at the same, that is the positive but do you positive. feel like that the technology and the fact that things are being documented more and now things are actually being seen because this thing's been going on for a right. long time but well, now that there's actual it, it video it, of it, this shit right. and it actual makes it, evidence it makes it, it makes it much more real for some people but it also creates a lot more Resistance, but do you feel like the justice you system might, might like reestablish itself? And I have think it's going to it's going to have to. Training it's going to have to. Otherwise, this. look, uh, it's going to have to because otherwise you're going to have this, and by this I mean you know, un like un people people not people not taking this shit. You, it's, it's gotten to a point now where it's a war zone. People don't publicly. they're not taking it anymore. They're not. So if you keep letting people get away with stuff. You're going to keep having this. It's very simple. Yeah. Do you want it to stop? You want it to stop? Okay. Start looking at stuff as serious uh, as as everyone else does. Don't don't allow people to do things and be treated, but you know, differently. You know, if I kill someone, I go to jail. So, or at least I'm tried and and looked at as as someone that committed a crime. And if I beat it, whatever. But you you're letting people not even go through that process. You know, people are getting gunned down in the street. But it's being, it's like, it's, it's just, I it's, mean, it's like, uh, you know? Okay. It's like, it, it, people are getting gunned down in the street, man. Like, I mean, I don't know any, I, I feel like anyone that argues against people um, trying to fight back against this, it's like, you know, they're pretty shitty people because it's like, why would you want a human being, why would you want human beings to, to, to be treated like this, you know? Why would, you, why, why, why would you get upset with people when they're like, yo, this is not right to treat people like this? Why You yeah. want people to be like, I don't no. get it. It's just, it's hurtful. It's man. just unbelievable at this yeah. day and age. Like that's happening. It's not though. It's not unbelievable. It's not because, unbelievable. Because but it's, 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 it's something that happens all the fucking absolutely. time. Absolutely. I'm just saying like, how, how could you let any, like if you live in this country or live anywhere, it's like, how can you let a city turn into anything from this terrible shit? You know what yeah. I mean? I don't know. So my, my, the, the song that I I chose, I was like trying. You went to, you went heavy on me, man. I didn't see I'm that sorry, coming. I'm sorry. I just I just wanted to bring it. I wanted yeah. to bring it up during the outer space thing, but like yeah, you know, nah. we were having such a great conversation yeah, otherwise. Nah. But um, I, I was thinking of songs like uh, you know, what to pick and like duos. Does you know? I guess Gangstar does count because it's it's a you know, Premiere and, and Guru are definitely Absolutely. a duo. But I was thinking MC wise, like you picked Hall of Notes, and I didn't even go like think about that. Mm -hmm. And I, I ended up picking Outcast because nice. I mean, if you really think about it, like they are one of the most successful duos, like oh, statistically, like they oh. won more yeah. Grammys and than not anybody. Even, in not that even game. that; they're musically above a and lot just, of people. And just amazing, they're, they're, yeah. They're, I, yeah. So, I mean, I just the one song that they're I always was the best to ever do it. One of the period. songs I always thought was just a great song was Rosa Parks, just because mm -hmm. you know that I feel like that's the one song, even though they were kind of established, that mm -hmm. really broke their career as like, yeah, yeah. these guys are, you know. Right, amazing. So, anyway, I don't know. I, I figured that would tie in to, no, to, it's, it's to a the very, discussions that are going on right now. Absolutely, it's, 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 it's 
just unnecessary and insane. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. It's a lot to take in. You know, it's 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 very hard. And I just pray for peace. I pray that you know we we figure this out because you know we got to live here. We I all just hope live it's here. not ignored. You know what I mean? It just fades away because it's yeah. still gonna go on until something. Until resolves. some change, man. Yeah, you're right. Um, so sorry, <laughs> sorry to end it on such it's a serious Todd, man. Man. Jesus dude. Christ. Dude. Uh, you know I'm mean, going man. to Comic Con tomorrow. That's cool. You're gonna go. Uh, you wanna go? I would Comic-Con? love to go to Comic Con, but it's Mother's Day, man. Man, yeah. you know, I'll be running around. Burt That's... Reynolds is there though. <laughs> Burt Reynolds is a Comic-Con. and the cast of the cast of uh, Gotham, which is a show I watch and I love. Gotham, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the kid yeah. plays the Penguin. Yeah, He's the man. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good show. A friend of mine uh, works on that show as a builder. Really? Builds, builds sets. Do you builder. watch it? No, I don't. Oh man, mm-hmm. I'm not into it. Nope. Did you watch any of it? I just Batman's not in it. You don't like Batman. I love yeah, Batman. Batman is in it. But as a kid, and it's like so what? You see how he develops, but all of his villains are being developed. Yeah. You see how the Penguin started. You see now you're starting to see the Riddler, like who he was. Really? It's a great they show, put, man. They put the Riddler before the Joker. There's no Joker yet. Yeah, Joker was a new, newer. Like yeah. the Penguin was one of his original villains. Riddler. What is the Penguin's like? He's just weird, right? He doesn't have superpowers. Or nothing. No, he was just a he was just a city city yeah. like criminal. That's the great. That's the crazy thing about Batman, is that uh, he fights people that don't like. He doesn't have superpowers, and the people he fight doesn't have superpowers. No, it's a realistic you know what I'm thing. Like, it's that's fucking... why it's so great. DC. Well, DC had Superman too, but yeah, I'm watching. Um, I'm also watching the Flash. Well, I just almost finished it. Did you do the... I know the, the Daredevil one. Oh, just Daredevil. Out? That's what I meant. The Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. But, yeah. like, now that I watch it, like, the acting's kind of funny on it. Yeah. Like, the one kid from The Mighty Ducks is in it. He's uh, kind of a terrible actor. And then Is the, there a Flash and one? And then the guy playing Kingpin is actually Gomer Pyle <laughs> from... Uh, he's Gomer Pyle from Full Metal Jacket, <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Is it a... Uh... Is a Flash TV show? Or no. Oh yeah, there's Flash too. I didn't mean the Flash. I meant Daredevil. I've never I liked. I that mean, shit. I've never. Yeah, I've never. never I don't think he could ever make him work, man. I don't nah. even know how he was popular to begin with. Like he just yeah. runs really fast. He can do things that's really it. fast. Yeah, that's cool. But like after, like oh, the Flash is, you know, he just ran really fast to the. To, uh, <laughs> fuck the Flash, man. Shit. I'll fucking kill the Flash. He's not faster than me. Yeah, yes, yeah. so he's no. already been in and out of this room. <laughs> In a second, not no. even. You won't even see him. I'm faster than the Flash. Yeah, <laughs> we, st- <laughs> we still got to play that basketball game we always talk about. Oh God! All right, Reef Radio, oh, yeah. <laughs> episode twelve. <laughs> Shout out to our brothers out of space, and like we said, we have the bonus interview with Grand Agent journalists uh, Carl Madison and one of the guys from Camp Low for like ten seconds. Um, Outcast Rosa Parks. Outcast Rosa Parks. Thanks for 